It's a gazillion miles on that bike. Pretty much the same on my wall goose. And just so you guys know, yep. There we go. <gasps> welcome, welcome, welcome to the Bike Man for You. Coming to you live from West Hampton Beach, Long Island, New York. It is a day. Uh, we got two more weeks or three more weeks before Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, if you need some holiday gifts, come over to thebikemanforyou.com. Today's show is presented by Cali Protectives. Safety takes no holidays, so always make sure you wear your helmet. We got that beautiful Cali Danu mm -mm 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 -mm. with a EVT Safe Zone mirror, another one of our great sponsors. Uh, love these guys. We've been loving their handle. We're trying to figure out how to get their third arm repair stand uh, arm into here to be able to use it for the winter time. We'll We're working on that. We'll EVT Efficient Velo Tools and their Safe Zone Mira. Mm, must have. Uh, today's show, Smoochers Labor and Discounts. What do we do? Hey, Freddie, turn that crap off over there, will you? We got Freddie in the house. Your laptop's not on. That one ain't on either. My, my laptop back here. Everybody's laptop isn't working. Oh my goodness! You know I was gonna get that already, but I thought you guys all had that. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming to help everybody out. Marco, you want to see what you can do about getting the show on now? Momentum, we should also be ready for this. We got Tony Joe in the house. Hi, right, Tony Joe. Hello. What do you got going on? What you think that might maybe who, how, huh? How about now? Oh, I don't give a shit about How about song. now, Tony Joe? Hey, honey, you are the best. How about now? No. You are, you I'm rock. Whoops. We got a bunch of people in the house. I don't have my glasses on, but I see a whole bunch of people in the chat. And thank you guys for tuning in to the Mike Man For You show. Welcome, welcome. Energy is what it's all about. Anthony Melendi, Chance the Canine, Alan C, Felix Ortega, Zigzag Eleven, Hoppin' Gator, Felix Ortega, Eric Dahlquist. Megan Stewart. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll get into um, that. We, we can talk to those guys hey, in a wait, little. Wait, you know, wait, I got a special. While we're just getting oh. started, can you give Tommy Stewart in Bayville, New Jersey, a shout out? Tommy, welcome. How's your weather over there? We're chilly over here. What is it, about 31 degrees outside? It's cold. It was cold last night. Tommy, thanks for tuning in. Uh, where is he? Bayville, New Jersey? Yep. Joyzy. All righty. What else you got for me, Tony Joe? You did good. We did good. We're good. Um, Felix is looking for a Seinfeld morning. A Seinfeld? What's that? Christmas. Oh, I don't know what that means, really. How you doing over there, BMX boy? You got the you got the comments up and running yet over there? I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, you're doing good. There you go. Live now. Hit that up at the top. There you go. Boom. Festivus. What'd you call me? Festivus. <sighs> That's a Seinfeld Christmas. Oh. Definitely don't pop up. I don't know why it don't pop up. What the hell? For the delay, guys, you know, but you know, we are live. Uh, excuse me? Whose volume, Tony Joe? You guys. What are you talking about? Do I have my volume up? I don't control the volume, Tony. You do. <laughs> oh boy. We got a guest camera person in the house today. Son of us are feeling a little under the weather. He'll be feeling better. Hopefully, he'll be back next week. All right. Let me see what we got. I gotta get on to here, we gotta go to here, we gotta go to there. Gotta go to Moe's. Here we go to that. Everybody wants, you know, it's all, you know, the whole, what did, what did Mikito say? I got it, no one else would get it, got it. It's a commercial. Oh, we got commercials get, on. No. That's good. Go to Utah, guys. Go to Utah and go skiing. I, well, I like Mormons, so. All right, that to that to I'll, that. We can I'll skip stop that. In. All right, there, Nova Scotia. Shout out to Hubbard's Hubbard's, Nova Scotia, Canada. Bring it on home. Tarpon Springs, Florida is in the house. I bet you it's toasty down there. All right, now that everybody's camera is up and running and everybody's computer is up is and everybody running okay? and everybody's volume is up and running, let's start over. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mike Man for You show. Coming to you live from West Hampton Beach, presented by Cali, sponsored by Surface, EVT Tools, blah, blah, blah. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I got a special show today, guys. We have got an action-packed show, a uh, whole bunch of good stuff going on. Uh, Vox, 
Vox, I think, was in Texas or Georgia or something. What's we got Vox? a lot of shops that are calling us up. They're asking for advice. They say this, or they got this, or they want to do this, or people are trying to convert. Vox wanted to try a 27 inch and a quarter conversion bicycle to a 700C. We're going to show you today what you're going to run into, uh, the problems that you might have, and what's going on with that. Okay. Um, you know, one of the things, the reasons too, that they're doing this is for the old school 27 inch wheels they're putting the 700 c's on because they got so many more different combinations of tires and right. wheels and yeah. this and that and this is where uh, still that fixie thing is still major out there and uh they're doing it hard and heavy and you know the older the bike the better uh i don't know if you guys realize but pinarello got sold over this past week really? uh yeah it's pinarello uh mr pinarello sold out he is a still he has a minority interest in the company now speaking about old school classic italian uh, I know. road that, bicycles I, that's like, uh, so that's pinarello like sold to the same people it's like a conglomerate you know you uh, get so big that and then after a while and you, you know you these guys come get, in and yeah. louis vuitton Okay, they also distribute Louis Vuitton, this big conglomerate. Oh, okay. One you major big company owns yep. all of these other smaller ones. So you got it. I got it. <laughs> so uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, the world is getting smaller. The little guy is getting bought out. I don't know. What do you? Not if do? you keep fighting. So anyway, that's old school, 27 inch and a quarter, 700 C. We got. A new tire in the house. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I got to talk to Surface. I'm going to show you guys what it takes, what's going on. Surface making a oh nice my. tire. I just wish they would just. Things get confusing when we start to deal with tire sizing, and I'm going to try to help you guys out a little bit. But sometimes the manufacturers are not a help at all either. And uh, out there know, in the Pacific Rim. I love Surface to death. And you know what? If I didn't love them, uh, I wouldn't be able to tell them that, hey, you got to do some changing here. And I want to show you guys what's going on with that. Still a great tire. I think, I think this tire is awesome. Uh, I just wish the it's markings awesome. were different. I, we'll go <laughs> so, into it. Uh, we'll get don't, there. Yeah. So stay tuned for uh, Don't that. worry about it. We got the pet bike. Do you have a pet? Your pet needs a bike. Yeah, I got, we got, got a the pet bike. Pet peeve. Pet bike. <laughs> you got a pet peeve? <laughs> Wiggy took the vet? Oh, really? Well, I missed the wigs. Mm. I saw him this morning. We have a used bicycle show today. We gotta do some cleaning up. You know the freezing cold, you know the snow is coming. We've been cheating it, cheating it, and cheating it. And skating by. by the weather, <laughs> I mean. By the hair of our nose. We're know? still raking leaves, and it's December, the first week and second week in December. I haven't um, even raked you know, a single leaf at my house. And it's just, it's uh, the weather has just been beautiful. But you know yeah. that sooner or later, it's going to get windy, cold, and snowy. Uh, some places out there got a little snow this week. Uh, there were some places really far down south, too, that got really, really cold, too. Really? So uh, it's yeah, here. Winter is here. Used bike show. So we got to get the stuff outside from out back, out back here. We got to get that stuff cleaned out. And we got to get it undercover, not just over the tarp anymore. We got to get it undercover, undercover. Because it's winter time, and I don't think we're going to get... We have not been getting a lot of customers. We had a couple customers a couple, yesterday, but, but I don't know how many customers we're going to get today. It's so cold out there. And again, we're in such a seasonal spot. But we got you guys, and we are the virtual bicycle shop of the World Wide Web. We got a BMX Fiction bicycle that we're going to be working on, putting a new set of grips on, and we're going to... That's going to an Adopt-A-Family. Uh, again, uh, we had another Adopt-A-Family. And of course, I know you guys are tuned in to Uncle Lance Contest. The Uncle Lance Contest. Where is our... Oh, you got him over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I haven't really... I just printed out the comments. Uncle Lance brought in that bicycle, and he bought a new bicycle last weekend, and it had so many trillions of miles on it. It was so cooked up. Go over to our Instagram and check out the video. If you haven't checked out the video on Instagram yet about how dirty and how nasty it was, you can put your comment into the Instagram comments. What you think of how long, how, ma how many miles were on that bicycle. And uh, I'm going to be posting the Instagram photo in about when we get ready to announce the, well, I'm just going to put it out there and then that's, that, that's, that's, that's where we stop and we'll announce the Instagram uh, for you and then you can look that up on there. If you don't go I, to the YouTube channel, if you still want to vote and you still want to put it in, it's put right it in here. over on our Instagram. It's, it's right here. <laughs> what is the winner? It's gotta be. 
I mean, oh yeah, he's he's closer than the other guy. Thanks for tuning in. You know? I, I, I I don't remember. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah, here. Yeah, Let me yeah, see what yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah. Let me see what I got. Way way out. You got it. The Derby. There it is. Oh. Oh, he's on. He's on. He's not over. No. He's there, but there was another one that I saw before that I think was actually. All right, so you got that. Closer. You want to write, write that down on there? Don't, but do, keep. Oh, go, don't look. Don't, don't be careful now. You know, you might have Digby Odell in there with his super spy. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. You know, Digby, are you tuned in today or what's the story? No, 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 be careful. Don't like, look at me. Like you're cheating on a test or something over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You use so the same law firm as me. Again. Again, guys, uh, if you want to get a con, if you want, oh man, I got, if you, <laughs> if you want to put a guess in, come over to our Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Come on over, follow us, subscribe to us, check us out, have a lot of fun over there on all of those spots. So please come on over. What else do I got for you? Photo, 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 and photos. If you would like... Ooh, look at that nice look at that nice t-shirt display. Uh, photo at bikemanforyou.com and you will get onto our photo wall, which we're not quite sure where we're going, but I do have some, I have a new photo from every week we do the same thing. Photo at bikemanforyou.com. We got Georgie T in the house. Georgie T put a nice picture up. Yeah, Georgie. I'll line them up over here, TJP. Uh, you know what? I Take it back. He's the closest one. So. Who? Phil? The winner. <laughs> we got Felix and we got Georgie T. Felix Ortega. Derek Hefner's coming up. Uh, I Derek know his, is. his. Yeah, he sent some pictures in. I know those are coming. Uh, Pam Lou takes care of all of that. Uh, while I'm there, I might as well, oh. so I don't forget. Uh, let me go to here. To Pam Lou. Pam Lou. Ah. Georgie T. There he is. And soon we're going to have a lot more with Derek Hefner uh, and a special shout out to James Hadley, my buddy Wolfie, Kevin Call in Caulfield in Scotland, Wayne Lombardi for sending in pics. They're up next. Next weekend we'll be posting up their pictures. Uh, we're working on where we're going to put the pictures. I think maybe we're. Did you get this, Tony Joe? I got George. Just straighten out Felix and his wife. It's kind of a. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. yeah I know. That's why. That's, uh, we got another picture? Yeah, Georgie T. Yeah, there he is, Georgie T. Georgie T. Uh, Georgie T is the guy that is responsible for helping us design this beautiful jersey, as a matter of fact. Uh, Georgie T is up there in New England. He puts out a couple of videos pretty regularly, uh, and it's about him riding through the countryside. Uh, if you're into riding a stationary bike and you're into heavy metal, why don't you tune him up and check it out and uh, go ride with Georgie. Uh, <laughs> and, you, and you're into heavy metal. He is a heavy metal guy. Is it? Oh, yeah. I mean, you heard it? Have, yeah. Have you ever listened to some of, some of his stuff? Yeah. He I likes that heavy one, metal well, soundtrack I, action. I watched one, and it was kind of like, dun, 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 you oh, yeah. know, like a slow pace. We'll get you pumped up. Get you pumped up. Hey, ask George to tell us, tell the folks, type in his uh, Facebook page, Bikeman for You, and ask him to Georgie, you type in your YouTube channel on the comments so people can go and check Is it out. Zip 2001. Zippy. Zippity doo da. Yeah, All right. Zippity day. I, I'm not. I don't see the c computer, Tony Joe. So you know you're you're on your own on that one. Yeah. We're kind of just. All right. I'm gonna take my pictures back. Uh, we're talking about maybe you know again. Oh, I almost forgot. Not just bring your photo to bikemanforyou.com. You have to be wearing a Bike Man for You jersey, hoodie, sweatshirt, T-shirt, all of the above. Sticker slap your forehead. Oh, we look don't care. at this. Yeah, a sticker. It's got to have the Bike Man for You logo in the photo. I mean, you can now, send us your normal pictures, but we're just not going to They're not going to get them. posted yeah. on the thing. And you're not, you know, you got to have. I'm so, I almost forgot. That's the most important part I, of the whole thing. I'm Come sorry. On, Come on. T-shirts available at bikemanforyou.com. One last call. You know, it's just, it's the same authentic gear that the Bike Man For You's crew all wear. So come on over to bikemanforyou.com and check it out. What's that, Tony Joe? Yeah, it looks good. Uh, but we got hoodies and we got sweatshirts. A great gift idea for the holiday. So check that out. And those two could be yours for. All right, so what are we going to do first? Whew, I got that through. That was a long way. could be yours. What's that? The 4X. Yeah, or, or even the 5X. I think we got a 5X set. If so you like sleeping in sizes. something, that's, that's a uh, large <laughs> The 4X. I forgot about that, Freddie. 
Alrighty, where are we going? No, no, what do we want to do first? No, 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 I don't know. Pet bike, 27 inch and a quarter. Uh, let's do that. What's that? Let's do the 27 inch and a quarter conversion. Bring them in. Let's do that. So, ring, ring, ring. Hello, you got the bike, man. Bike man, I love your show. Blah, 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 blah. I got a question for you. I got an old, old 10 speed, and I want to put, my friend has some wheels to give me, and they're 700C, and my bike is 27 inch and a quarter, and what do we do? I says, well, how are you going to fit? I'm like, I think so. I hope so. But you're going to have a problem with the brake. You might have a problem with the brake, and you might have a problem with the clearance because of what he was talking about doing. Let me get my coffee. You want all three of them? Okay. Or just the uh, two? Mm, the two's well, fine, two is fine, right? What's that? The two is fine, right? Two is fine for now. All right. This one and the uh, and that and that and that hybrid. All right. What rim? Okay. Here's the deal. That's correct. It's it shorter. Cold. A 700C wheel is smaller in diameter than a 27 inch and a quarter. Oh, yeah. Or you might have a clearance problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of things, but this is a possibility. A, uh, a hub spacing problem, too. See, Depending. These, these, some, cause some, uh, these can go way up, but they can't go way down. That's correct. Freddy, your grasp for the obvious is admirable. I'm grasping it. <laughs> I'm just reaching I'm for it. I'm it right out there. It, really. I'm snagging it right out of the air. All right. All right, so what do you want to talk about first? Get, let's, take, let's just start with the front wheel because the front wheel is easy. We can pop it on. We can pop it off. It doesn't have to deal with the chains. Some people get freaked out about dealing with chains and wheels and all of this stuff. And believe me, guys, whatever your problems are, we can help you. Get over it. Um, we can help you. It's not that big of a deal. Take a deep breath. And hey, Fred, just hold this for me for a second. Yeah. I'm going to pop the front wheel off of this bicycle. BMX boy's going to pop the front wheel off of that bicycle. We're going to probably have to disconnect the brake, I think. Mm -hmm. Now that All I... All right, let's, let's, let's do... Here's another problem that we have a lot in the wintertime. Got a fat tire and a skinny <sighs> Tools. Because I have to constantly run... Oh, so wait, it's, wait, BMX wait. boy doesn't have his sneakers on. In fact, BMX boy actually took the took the took the took the took the plunge and actually went to Red Wing shoes. We kind of look like two uh, like twinsies. <laughs> his is are a little better shape than mine. His are a little newer. Except for mine are. His are shorter. Mine are higher. And, and I got the eighty. Right? I guess the eighty. I don't know. Eight, whatever the yeah. hell it is. The good though, aren't they? I love them. <laughs> you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you were, you've been farting around with all those other ones, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I'll be next. I do. I, they're so... These are good. I'll be next. These I are put the them on and I was but like... Freddie, oh. they're expensive. I don't care. Money for me is no object. <laughs> <laughs> there you That's go. a great fucking oh, philosophy. If, yo, Freddie, you are a classic, you know? If, if something <laughs> you want, money, money is no money. object. <laughs> if it's something... Else. It's like I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Really, I, I picture him j j just be like, "What's that most expensive <laughs> pair?" Just throwing bills in the air. Uh, you know, we've been talking about Red Wing shoes for God knows how I long. Know, and and you I know, and I finally we never got them as a sponsor, but boy, we do we do promote them. And Red I, Wing shoes are the best. But anyway, yeah. So he's got to run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to get tools. Now that brings up another great idea for this winter. Hmm, what's in your tool? Everybody needs a toolbox, yeah. and uh, you got to have it, and you know, we got a kind of a toolbox kicking around over here that we've been sitting around and hanging out with. Yeah, I just and remembered that that was there. And oh, I know, cool. I, did, I did too. Oh, okay. And there's a, there's a whole bunch of tools in here. There's some okay? goodies in there. Now, this happens to be a park tool, but you know, um, yeah, well, not hey, everything in there might be park tool. Everything might be park tool. Oh, so is this where the other one went? Oh, look at that. I've been looking for, for that for... We got some chains. It, we got some displays. This is some stuff that we use for various different things. It is the, oh, what the heck was this thing? The original yeah. set of this thing was what? Oh, it was the AK-38. AK-38, which means there was 38 tools in there. But besides that, enough of that. So There's his tools. He's got what he's going to need to do. He's going to need oh, an 8 millimeter. We're going to disconnect box, the cable. Maybe more. I think it was more. Maybe more than I think two. it was more. What's right? it? Probably price? over a $200 box. I don't know. It's expensive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was an expensive kit. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, Freddie loves that stuff. Uh, Freddie loves that stuff. 
Um, all right, so where are we at? All right, so we got to disconnect this break, okay? Here's where the problem is going to start to lie, Tony Joe. Because of this, we need a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter if you got one in there, Fred. Let me get my glasses on. Oh, you too with the glasses, huh? No I'm going to disconnect my safety. There's a, there's a. We got a 10. We are. Good. They're really changy, though. <laughs> yeah, they are. And a 10 and an 8 on one. This is, now this is in their park toolbox. We use Craftsman a lot. Uh, you know, all kinds of different open end box tools, uh, but whatever. This is going to work for us. Uh, if you need to release this one here, what we do is you're just going to disconnect that, and then this is going to open up that. That's a quick release lever for this type of brake lever system. Now remember this. This is a Dicomp side pole. It's a Dicomp 600, I think, 500, 500. Um, people make fun of the way I say Dicomp. Some guys say Dicomp, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to disconnect that 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 uh, anchor nut for the cable so that you guys see what's going on here, just so that we can get it open and wide. Make it as wide as we possibly can. Our cable is completely loose right now. I'm going to pop this 10 millimeter anchor uh, brake pad off of here, so that, or we'll just loosen it up to start with, because here's what's going on here. You can see how this goes up and down. Now this is what they're talking about with the reach of a brake. What do they mean by the reach of a brake? You see this stuff measured. I don't know why this is in there. It's a plumb bob. I know, but... Uh, is for it when you're sitting on a bicycle, we can fit you oh, up for, okay. for see where your knee is in relation to your toe and oh, over that blah, 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 blah. It was designed for events and... Yeah, bicycle, yeah, for the, bicycle then, events. I mean, this can pretty much do any, almost, almost oh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> you're impressed, Freddie. I can yeah, tell in the look in your eye. You're I'm like, wow, impressed. this thing has got a lot. Now, this was not necessarily totally set up by Park Tool, okay? No, you understand? A lot of it was thrown in there. Well, yeah, this, uh, that was thrown in, this was thrown in. This was a DeWalt knife point. Yeah. This whole freaking kit He's is just stuff so in. That was thrown in. Uh -huh. This was thrown in. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you're finding out all kinds of stuff in there. Every, every, pretty much all of I mean, this is like a go on the road, fix almost anything box. Yes, yes. Yeah, and that was the way it was designed yep. to do that. Uh, now, where was I? Oh, calipers. It does not have a set of calipers in there, though. No, it does not, but it's got a, isn't that a chain? Yep, for oh, the yeah. chain ring. For the, uh, All right, so yep. back at you with the reach. So this, the reach when you're looking at brakes is going to be from the center of this and down. Uh, let me turn this thing on so that way you can see what I'm talking about. All right, I'm on. Excuse me? Oh, they are, are they? Why is that? <laughs> they ran out of stockings at the store? <laughs> All right, so now, here we go. We're going to come down, 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 down. We're going to go center of this bolt right here to the center of the rim, okay? Just for kicks. Let's see what that ballpark, okay? There you are. Oh my, look, 53.93 is what that measures out at. Lo and behold, some of those things are like 53 to whatever. But again, this is just a ballpark. Again, from here to he from the center here to the center of the wheel. All right, let's remember that number, 53 for a minute, okay? All right, we're gonna pop that wheel off of here. Yes, no, maybe? Yep, sure. Yep. And then we're going to oh, pop this oh, wheel off of here. Yeah. Freddie, back at your action over here. I need you to hold this thing. Okay. It's a Schwinn. It's a nice one. It's an old Schwinn. Yeah, it's got that Lift stupid up one. lock on it. All right, <laughs> Dan. I don't want to put it on the awesome floor. Oh. Yeah. That's all right here. You can just stick this in there. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about converting it this way. Well, you wouldn't. Because <laughs> there's no point to. Yeah, right. I mean, if you right, we'll just leave that to the side there for a little bit. We'll wow, it actually, uh, <laughs> it's close. It might, it would work. It will work. <laughs> so it would in work. a pinch, you could do right. that. So now, you got enough. Oh, job. here, hold that for a second. Job. Hold this. Let me take this off for a second again. We still need that because I want to put them both side by side. Let me put something underneath there for you, Frederick. Oh, yeah, that nice new floor, huh? Oh, no, yeah. you want to want to screw it up. All right, so put that up there, put this up here. Now you can see what's going on. 
Now, what did you say, Bite Man? You said something about the one bite is real blah. Huh? What's going on, Bite Man? All right, let's really carefully observe this, boys and girls. Let's show them axle to axle, too. See that? <sighs> yeah. The axle to axle, the tire, this is a 700 by 38 seat tire. This ISO number is a 622 on the diameter of the tire, the wheel, the rim, 622. This guy here is a 630. This technically is smaller diameter than this is, but why does it look like this is higher? Because the profile of this tire is it's so much more. And this tire is skinny. You get that, folks? From that bead of that rim, right where I'm pointing, to this bead down here, is smaller than this. Now, the question at hand from Vox down in Texas, I think it was Texas, is that will this wheel fit? on this bicycle. So not only am I contending with this brake situation that we got going on, we're dealing with the width and the fatness of this tire. It might not clear on the top of here on the front of this bicycle. I've ran into that problem a few times. Now, I don't on know. My, on myself. Who's going to make it? Freddy's, got, Freddy's pitching that he's going to make it. He's got faith. Do we have a drum roll? <laughs> Getting through that tire brake is a little tough. Oh. I got through the brake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, Vox was saying, hey, Bike Man, will it fit? And I'm like, I don't know. And you, every bike might be different. You don't know until you, you try. Okay, now, I got probably a half an inch worth of clearance here. I'm in good shape. I got at least three-eighths of a clearance on my fork here. So this is looking good. Now, this brake, pushing it all the way, pulling this all the way down as far as I can go. Wow, it makes it on this one. Hmm. I'm surprised. I wouldn't have thought that. I didn't think so either. But you're just pulling that all the way down and it fits. Just makes it. So you don't need a new brake on this one. Now. What about the back? What's gonna happen there? You got that? Cool. But now, why does he wanna do this? The reason he wants to do this is because there's so many more tire choices and wheels in general than a, seven, a 27 inch. We sell quite a few 27 inch wheels. Uh, we also sell quite a few 27-inch tires, oh, man. but there's only about three or four different, really, flavors of tires. Now, Surface is trying to get into the game, and with this new tire that they got, with the FPS protection, 27-inch and a quarter, nice tire. And again, 27-inch and a quarter. Here it is here. Let's spin it around. I'll hold it for you. I'm just going to flip, flip it over. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, it's not For right. this situation, it's, yeah, not, it's right. not a... Working on, working on a bike upside bike. down, guys, is really not a program. Um, but in this situation, it's not a bad one. What was I... Where was I going? Uh, surface is getting into the game. Uh, oh, I know where I was going. Okay. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, props. Remember we were deal We were talking about those props, those poster oh, boards? Oh, God. Remember that? that? Where did right. that go? Yeah. Where did those poster boards go? Out here? Uh, hold on. You know the ones I'm talking about? I do. I do. I didn't move them. They were over here. Yep. We took them off of there. I got some props from, you know, we've been cleaning out and doing this and doing that. And oh, like, is it in the office? Is it in the office? I think uh, you, you, want, you want to move them over there, I think. This place is a mess, too. Post to, I had poster boards with tire sizes on them. That had, oh, the ISO that you had? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right. Where'd those things go? Where'd those poster boards go? Yeah, you moved them. I didn't touch them because I kind of thought we were going to leave them no. alone. Where the hell did I do yeah. This would really put everything together for you guys. Underneath here? Mm. Those them? No, I didn't. No, no, no. Where the hell? D -d -d -d. All right, just hang on, hang on. All right, hang let's on, think, on, think on, through. Let's they think were over through. here. They went into here. Yeah. They went someplace. 
I said we got to save these BMX boys. I know. I remember <laughs> I a clear save because it was them. yesterday. There, there, there. Are the no, oh, like they're big poster boards. Out oh, back? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't remember bringing Downstairs, them out. Downstairs, maybe. <sighs> Not here. Hey, just. Oh, but. Oh, we still didn't get that seat clamp for that BM for that twenty-four inch either. Da da downstairs, maybe. We didn't throw them out. I know that. They should be fairly close by, if any place. I got them. You got them. Have been more prepared, guys. I'm sorry. There's so Funny many things. Only it. so much time in the day. All right. Brr. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's toasty out there, but boy, it is chill e. Chill e. All right, here we go. Okay. 27 by inch and a quarter ISO. 6.30. Your front numbers are the width of the tire, the end numbers are the diameter. So all of these tires here are the same <laughs> diameter, but the width is what changes. So actually this is going to fit. Inside to outside measurement, 24 and a quarter, 25 and a quarter on the outside of the rim is the actual dimension, but it's still a 27 inch. Everybody with me on that? Let me leave that there for a second. Next. Do, 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 do. 27 inch ISO number. Now we're just dealing with diameters. Now that's it, okay? 630. A 26 inch mountain bike is 559, a little bit smaller. A 26 inch three speed, a one and three eighths, a one and a quarter. Again, emphasis here, fractions here, decimal points. That's pretty big. It's a big one because it's nine millimeters difference in the ISO. Now we come into 700C, 622, the diameter of the rim, here to here. Everybody with me, I hope. All right, so here we go. It's pretty f pretty Will the rear tire fit on here? Some pretty funny comments. Well, about what? Uh, about what, what we got, BMX? Go so ahead. Let it rip. About, uh, wait. I gotta get up and drink water. Danny, Danny Panetta, how, how did you get out of uh, your ten? Get back in, Wolf. We got Wolfie and Danny and 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 Jimmy Frozen in the house. Uh, I I didn't. Oh, good, Jimmy. I'm sorry I didn't return your call earlier this week. I, uh, I didn't. Been a little busy, man. Crazy, crazy week. Here it goes. <laughs> Slide it in there, BMX. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. You can get it in. Push. Oh, we're in. Ooh, we might have a problem here in the we back do. end of this thing. We do. We gotta take a brake pad off. I we might need to only get a rear brake. Maybe not a let, let me just move them. But first. then again, maybe it'd be nice if you had nine two. Uh, yeah, I, I would probably swap them both up. Right. Well, we're gonna get to. All right, he's kind of hitting down in here a little uh, bit. Okay. What do we got down here? We got a little. We got a kickstand down in here. Yeah, we got a kickstand. Maybe let's let a. Oh, 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 oh! He's got it in. He got it in. Now he's got to try to get, get me all the way back. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me spread the frame a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're in. You're in. I'm in. You the tight. Are you going to make it tight Hold in a minute? On. All right, let's see what happens here. Here we this. go. Let me get this. This is a little bit. Now, the rear one, a little different. Let me here. get this Ball mother in there a little bit better. And usually the front is a lot baby. easier, and get as you can me. see, it was. Come on. There we go. The now you're getting to see and understand why we would call this a guess and test, okay? If you take the reflector off, it'll All right. cl let's, clear it. Yeah, let's give that a little. It's, it's hitting there, though, isn't it? Titting right there. Let's get that thing turned around so that way we're in line with that camera. Careful with my nice stocking. I'll watch your stocking. 
Bike tire sizes go by the outside diameter of the tire. Well, the bead size. Huh? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's outside what. Diameter. That's what Mark Galway asked. All right. Here we go. Now we were talking about this with this with this bicep. And again, we're kind of cheating here. Tony John, I'm gonna try to get this up to the position of where I gotta get to. Right there, I think he's gonna. Let's see what, yeah. Right in here. Back wheel ain't gonna fit on. Well, it fit. Well, you're you see you're thirty seconds below. You're you're thirty seconds behind over there, Frederick. Yeah, I know. All right, so, so right nice. here, so dead nuts, right here. Give it to me, Tony Joe. Shoot me right here, and mm. you can see exactly what's going on. We have a clearance. The 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 reflector bracket right here is the part that hangs down just a little bit past this stem on this one. How's that? Is that better? I don't know. She should be, a, I, I think. Now, here I go down here. On the brake system on this, it's going to work. The brake, front and rear brakes will work on this thing. Okay, yeah. because of the distance of here to here. 700C wheel now. If he wanted to change to a, let's say, a road wheel. Like a, yeah. Okay. Which, we, which we've actually got uh, a originate set. I think. Oh wait. Seven hundred C. Yes. I think you. I think you're right. Where downstairs? Eh? Upstairs. Uh, upstairs. Okay. I think. Uh, which we is got some a, downstairs too. Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. We got single speeds. Yes. Only a set of those rims. Um, sure. The ones that we have the most of. Let's see if we can promote those out. Okay. Oh Jesus. Put it on the anvil and stake it back together. Who asked that? Beat the crap a, out. A BMX crank arms loose? Yeah. Get that wheel set. Stay, stay focused here. Uh, virtual. We're trying. You know what? We're slowly becoming more and lock more it of a virtual bike Lock it down with Loctite. People are tuning in and they're starting Plank to ask questions right on the plot. And that's great. And I love it. And keep them coming. Uh, if we don't get to them, we're going to have to, you know, I love this. This is where I'm, this is, this is my dream. The virtual bicycle shop on the World Wide Web. With everybody from out the world that's into bicycling, come on to my bike shop. Why not? All right. Uh, well, we'll get to this in a. This is kind of pertinent in a minute. Not yet, though. When we get to that tire size in a minute, because this is all coming together. Here we go with 700C. Um, now, 700C measurements again. 622 is your ISO. Your ISO, okay, for the width is here. Why do you explain what the ISO means? Some people know what it ISO is your international standard, and it's like, you know, it's. If you match your ISO, you're going to be cool. You know, instead of 27 inch and a quarter, 26 1 and 3 A's, 26, I got one for you. 26 1 and 3 quarter, and 26 by 175 are two different ISO numbers, believe it or not. Attorney Joe just learned this just the other day. Uh, so ISO is an international, some sort of blah, 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 blah. But anyway, that is like the standard. I don't memorize all my ISOs. I don't bother because I got the fraction thing down pretty good. All right, where was BMX boy? Oh, he was going downstairs to pick up a set of those wheels. Okay. Now. Tire width, Vox was saying he had 738. Now, if I went to a 732, if I went to like maybe a 700, maybe 35, but 32 or a 28 maybe, again, now, now I'm starting to skinny up, a 700 by 28. Okay. Here we go. In width is the same as a 27 by inch and an eighth. Ooh, I can't see. 27 inch and an eighth is a 28 by 630. 728, 28 by 622. So those widths are relatively close. Now I've physically measured on occasion some of these things with the calipers and they don't come up with. So the width thing is whatever. Those are, oh, ooh. Now, got the rear on that. Nice. 
Here is a 700C fixie set. This is like the wheel set that maybe they might want to be putting onto this bicycle to make it a fixed gear or a single speed. This is nutted. And uh, will it fit? Sure will. Um, but again, you come down to that brake situation, which we're going to, what I think we're going to be all right on this because we've already, because again, this ISO and this ISO in diameter is the same, but the width is definitely different. As you can see, the width of this rim is, you know, super skinny than that is. Now, will that tire fit under this rim? We get these questions all the time, man, over and over and over. And it should go. Yeah. We did where we put... We a 29er tire on there or no, something like that? We put a we put a 23C on a standard hybrid uh, wheel. Okay. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're a low profile, and, and it worked. <laughs> People were like, oh, it's not going to work. Yeah, it works. It looks a little funky. Yeah. Uh, you can put a bigger tire onto a skinnier rim. It just looks really goofy, and your, and your clearance is a little... All right, let's unwrap this for a second. We'll put this back on there. Now, we sell this wheel set. This is a black DT formula. Uh, real nice. This is a nice wheel set. It's got DT stainless spokes on it, flip-flop hub. It is a standard axle, meaning you can repack these bearings. Uh, the rim on this is, what is this? Wyman. This is a Wyman. Very nice rim. It's nice. Nice wheel. Uh, all right, let's pop this so box. I hope we're answering your questions here today on our live show. Uh, but we get this question pretty regularly. Oh, Mic on. Oops. It's now it is. I turned he it, had off, it off when sorry. he was downstairs talking to himself. I love talking to myself. It's, <clears throat> it's such a nice conversation. Now, come on. He's cheating a little bit. If we let the air out, it'd come out right out. Oh, out a little I'm not easier. doing that. That would be things too easy. There she goes. What are you taking me for, Slash? All right. Now, let's see what this thing looks like on there. Just for case. We're not going to put a tire on there. We're not going to go crazy. Uh, this wheel here is what they call a flip flop. I might show you that in a second if we get there. Oh, yeah, baby. You can be. Yeah, I was gonna just freaking yes. screw it down until it stops. Those are nice nuts on that with those integrated. I love those. Spin. Those are so nice. All right, so now our rim is going in a little bit more on this. Uh, let me uh, just so that it doesn't slip. <laughs> just adjust up that brake. Well, oh, look at you go. You don't have a regular 15 in there. Huh? No. no. See, we're not ready to fix anything on there. No. See, we're not the. No, you oh, see, our toolbox, our toolbox is in need. He's using a cone wrench to just snug something up. That's not good. That's not it. That's not, not the right tool for the right job, but we're kind of cheating a little bit. Because you know what? Hey, it's cold he doesn't outside. Have, he doesn't have sneakers on. <laughs> Uh, cone wrenches uh, are definitely a must in your toolbox if you're getting into bicycle fixing. Myself. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, I need so many fancy tools to, to fix a bicycle. Not really. Uh, a couple of specialty tools, but on the whole, you really don't need a lot of specialty tools. Um, which brings me to the next game plan. We got another call this, year, this week uh, from a guy in Joyzy. Easy. I want to say Monroe. Um, all right. So now here we are with that. Let's give me a ten. Give me an eight. Let's hook up that hook up that brake so that it works actually sure. works onto that rim. Okay. So that way we absolutely positively know. He talked to me. Let me get back over on my other side over there. And he asked me, "Bike man, I got a problem." Can I have your advice? I said, sure, why not? I'll be happy to give advice. He said, I got a customer service situation. He says, customer service, he says, I got this guy, he's an associate, and he's all right. But he's constantly coming in, and he is uh, asking me to install this, or do this on his bike, and because he's a quote unquote kind of semi-friend, um, <laughs> He uh, walks away and he really doesn't pay and he doesn't offer and 
I'm like, well, shame on you, my man. I said, you got to uh, you got to step up to the plate. I says, customer service not necessarily is free all the time. Customer service costs money. It costs money to keep your business open, and uh, you got to take care of these moochers, <laughs> vultures. I like to call them. Who? Right now. Nobody here. Oh. oh yeah. Because we stand. Well, we stand our ground on occasion. Uh, well, we stand our ground. I mean, I, we don't let it get. A, we might say, ooh, we have a problem here, and then we'll address it. But this guy is having problems of how to address the problem to this guy. Oh, okay. All this right. is where the advice comes into play. I mean, you know, do we have moochers? Absolutely. Do we have people coming in here for discounts and late, uh, this and that? And, oh, my goodness. Which comes to today's title. I know how to deal with them. <laughs> now, Freddie's idea of dealing with them, Freddie, that's, uh, dealing with them are two different total ideas. We okay? can't do that. Yeah, you, know, you know, Freddie just wants to boot him in the butt and tell him, you know, there's the door. See you later. No, I direct him right there. Oh, you see, everything comes to me. Yeah. Oh, I see. Now he friends, Freddie points to me. Well, your name is on the business. Oh, yeah. Right? So, so, all right. So the buck stops with the boss. All right. So how do you deal with moochers and discounts and people that are always looking? Cheap, cheapskates. How many different words can we come up with for cheapskate or moocher? Put it in the comments below. I got words that I can't even say why. Now listen, you gotta keep it clean, okay, okay. Moocher, sponge is one of them. Uh, keep you it know. PG, fellas. We all know who we're talking about, and we all get them every single, every, whatever business you're in, you get one. Hey, can you do any better on this bike? Yeah, I can give you a dollar ninety-eight cup holder. Dollar <laughs> <laughs> ninety-eight cup. <laughs> can I? Can you? Uh, you know, uh, cash no tax is one that's famous yeah, right. around here. Okay, if you get that one, it's real simple and easy to handle. Okay, listen to me, Mister. I'm awfully sorry. Okay, but I don't charge the tax. I just collect it. Exactly. Oh wow. Period. Yeah. Guess End the discussion right there. That stops him in his tracks. It's like, whoo, this guy is seriously in business. Yeah, I am seriously in business. In order to be in business for 40 years, I gotta, you know. So that's the, that's the way to take care of that one. But this guy here, he's having this other situation. I asked him, I asked him straight up. I said, do you have a sign in your shop stating your labor rate? Because that's where this is all going, guys. It's all going towards that internet, and they're going to be coming in, and they're, you're going to get more and more. Hey, bike man, can you put this on my bike? Hey, Vox, can you put this on my bike? Hey, guy in Monroe, can you put this guy on my Sure we can. It's going to cost you. Our labor charges are as follows. For a situation, now you can do whatever you want, but you better get something up there, because now that moocher comes in, and he sees that. Ooh. And there's no re And don't be afraid to ask. Hey, have something in there, depending upon what it is that's coming in. A basket installation, if you bring it in, it's 20 bucks. Or 15 bucks. Right. Depending upon where you live, is conduct, what, you know, somebody comes in with a kickstand that they bought on the net for $15. I think we get the $15 to your door, I think, or something in there. Yeah. Between 12 and $15. Yep. Can you put this on my bike? Sure I can. Yeah, it's going to take me two seconds to do it, but it's going to... I got the tool, I got the knowledge, I got the this, I got the that. Blah, I got to put blah, it up blah. in the stand. I gotta, All yeah. of the above. Uh, for me to put on a kickstand from the internet, don't be afraid. Tell them straight out. Five bucks. Get you literally seconds, but so what, man? You got the tool. It's not a question of that. you got to stay in business, guys, and labor is number one. So get yourself a labor sign. Have it as one. Labor charge per hour. I'm just going to throw this out, okay? I don't say you should necessarily go by these rules. Maybe you want to go more, okay? $50 per hour. Not unreasonable. At all. And if you watch, it's 75 Like Freddie said. If you watch labor charge per hour, 75 <laughs> I'm serious about this, guys. This is going to tell them straight out. I'm the, hey, I'm all there. Now, it I'm could be a little bit of a joke, and it could be a fun, it could be this, it could be that, okay? And then the next line underneath that, labor charge, if you watch and if you help, yeah. is now $100. Okay? You've you got to do it. And if you touch the Good morning. Uh, Good morning. I, I called before. My hands are so frozen. Oh, my God. I called before my about my um, gears. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, yes. You took I, that in? Yes. You took that, yeah. you took that call. That was me. You took that okay. call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you're going to ha that. handle that oh for me? Oh, my gosh. Yep. Bike is it out front? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, you know, All right, so we got a gear problem there. Back here, I feel like those chains slip 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, one second. Great situation that we're dealing with here. We have a gear situation with this young lady's custom bicycle. Oh, now, is it number one, is it our bicycle? Come on in, young lady. How are you guys? How doing well? Yeah. I'm going to throw it up there. You want to put it up there? Now. Like, yeah, because I'm not standing I forgot outside. your first name, my dear. Nancy. Nancy, nice Hi, to see you again. Um, what's that? You guys did my bike. Like we did the, the, the trump bag. Yeah. That trump bag, eh? Yeah. That's what I yeah, yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah. Just I letting you know, Nancy, that we are streaming live right this second around the world to thousands of people on YouTube, okay? Just so you know. All right? I just want to make sure that everybody understands what's going on. Oh, oh no. I, you're 20 minutes of fame if you come in every Saturday at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Uh, what do you need? You uh, need me? You want to need, put it up a no, little bit? No, no, yeah. I got Raise it. that seat just a hair to get it up in here. So, Nancy, brand new bicycle we got going on here. Yeah. Gears are slipping, slipping it's popping. The, the back, every time I do the back, I feel like I hear it and it's like popping out. Okay. And like, only on the back here for some reason. Now, you are familiar with how gears work and all no, that? No, the right hand side, left hand side? I'm really not. Okay. I mean, I love my bike to get me wrong, and I bike all the time, but I'm not a great bike. Okay. You don't quite understand what's going on. Because yeah. I'm looking at it right now, what gear you're in right now, yeah. and I'm like, wow, I don't know if you really want to be in that gear. Why? Mm, because it's very easy to pedal. Right. And you feel like you're pedaling air almost, and you're not getting anywhere. Right. Do you, ha do you yeah, feel yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So we're going to give you a little... What, number one, we're going to do is we're going to check out your gears. Oh, good. Uh, we're going to make sure, it sounds, because it's a new bicycle, it sounds to me like the cables have stretched a little bit. That's why I think you said on yes. the phone. And, uh, and, and, and those kinds of things. So we're going to go over that. We're going to get some lubrication on here. We're going to see what we're going to be doing. And then we're going to give you a little gear lesson at the same time. Because I'm on YouTube? <laughs> uh, all of you. But actually, we would do it no matter what. Oh, Bottom line, you're going to be looking at it. It's going to be 20 bucks here. Are you all right with that? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, all right, yeah. BMX boy. Let's see what we got with those cables. Sure. And then we'll go into a gear lesson. All right. Back here, and that's when I really feel it. It's a very nice. It's a perfect. See? Well, that's me. We that's click, you. Okay. I'm clicking it down. Okay. No, it's a great bike for what I use it for. All right. Let's just step back just a half a second. Give them a little room. Yeah. 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 So Nancy, you're a brave girl going out there in this freezing oh, yeah. cold weather. I, I hate stuff, I can't get out. Do you guys close the We're open Fridays and Saturdays as our published hours. Um, we're here pretty much every day. We got packages every day that we got. You know, we do some internet business, okay. uh, so we're so shipping you, out stuff. So we're here. Not close at, the winter, we, right there, no? eh, We're here at ten, at least, pretty much every day by ten o'clock. And we do packages up until 12, and then we'll go to do other projects. So if you need me, you can always give me a hand, a call. Give me, let me give you my card. The sauce is in here too. I know. Uh, yeah, that's got my cell on there for you. You can put oh, that in your pocket you in case you need us. If you get a flat tire or something like that, I'm going to go outside and go get a pump so we can pump these tires up. Okay. okay, cool. Boy. You need air badly. I do? Yes, you do. Oh, he scared me. He made right. I was like, hell, what the hell? Oh, hell? It's like binding up now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, God, what the hell? You are? I'm doing well, Jill, and yourself. Shh. No. No. Mm-hmm. That he's still talking. Heads up. How do I know? How did you know that I needed care? Well, see, to me, this doesn't feel it. So well, that's what I would like to know. You see? Well, uh, I can oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. These, no. these uh, tires, I believe, the PSI, the maximum PSI on these, it always the says on the side wall, I think it's like 85. I'm going to find out for you really quick. Okay. Yeah. We're here. We're, uh, you got 28 in this one. Yeah. Uh, maximum PSI 75 to 100. 
and you're at 20. No. Yeah. Or 28 in that one. Oh, then my husband's bike was probably easier. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, it was so funny because we're here every weekend. We get on bikes. I never test it. In my other house, I do test my bikes because About the I don't same in that much. one. Yeah. yeah. All right. See it right. right there? 28. Oh. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, these tires should be pumped up once every you know, two weeks. I'm here pretty no much kidding. every day yeah. at, yeah. at 10 o'clock. Joe? Okay. Because there's no guessing. No, no yeah, no, it's no, kind of number just one, it's no good. You it. If you run the tires soft like oh, that, no, they'll, 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 you'll get like half the life out of the tire. I, 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 I'm with you. Right. I'm with you. <laughs> Which is why I called right away. Going right. On so exactly. When the, when the tire goes like this, it's not good oh, eight, it tears yeah. the sidewall. That is my cell direct to my head. Now, if I don't answer it, I should come back to you, but please respect the tires. Are they're 60 bucks, right? What is it? These are probably 60 oh, bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're specialized so in specific tires. Oh, no. And, oh, and you, should, you should get thousands of miles out of these tires. Yeah, it is. You know, it's so funny because biking feels colder than running because you really like it in the wind. Yeah, you got to go to the wind. Yeah, I'm white. It's sunny. It's not just sunny enough. Yeah. I'm dealing with it. Oh, it's icy or sunny. Yeah, exactly. Icy or rainy. I'm good. I'm happy. Let me just get that back on. Pretty much, yeah. Call though first. All right. Cool. All right. Your gears are fine. Um. So, why when I shift this one do I feel like it's slipping, the back one? Okay, now. Right controls the rear. All right, talk to me. The right controls the rear. Right we'll controls we'll rear. And the left, left controls, controls the, front. the front. So if you're shifting this one and you think you're shifting the back, it's going to sound <laughs> different you because you're in a gear you're not supposed to, school, to be in. So talk to me about going up the hill and like what gears I should be in. For a, for like a flat regular okay. ride. For around here. You would stay in two in the at the front. You wouldn't even touch that. You would That's what stay, in stay in two. Yep. Yeah. And then if yep. you're you're going up a pretty steep hill, you'd want to be in. I want to say about uh, you know four or five, but that's. Oh, steep here. Uh, yeah, around here it's mostly flat. You'd stay in about you know four or five, okay. Som somewhere in there. It does. It's say it here. It does. Yeah. Right now you're in six. Okay, sorry to help you. Yeah. So the sound I heard is nothing. It's nothing bad. Um, your uh, cable here, it, it it did stretch out. Okay. I tightened it up. Good, thank you. Gears work okay, fine. Good. Uh, bicycle's in great shape. Good. I know it should be. Um, <laughs> um, in, in the basin, so it should be right. It's good. Uh, it's not even yeah. a dusty or anything. Um, but yeah, but mainly it's right is rear, left is front. A so lot of right uh, is, I always think that left is rear. That's so no, funny. No, oh, no, no. I'm a ratty, I always think so. Right is rear. Right is rear. R R. Right yes. for rear. Oh, God. All right. R right for rear. So the right should always be like fourish. Uh, for a uh, year four or five, uh, right it's two. kind of a okay. okay. Yeah, pretty much leave this side in two for now. This is yeah. where I felt the shift, though. This is where I felt the cable kind of move. Oh yeah. The noise. Big changes here. Nope. Huh. Look, look, it's got one, oh. two, three. Oh, okay. And okay. On the back Here's... side, you got eight, right? Oh, or nine? Oh, I think okay. it's eight. No, okay. nine. No, nine. Whoops. Okay. Nine speeds on the back. Yeah, nine. So is this the cable, the number of the speeds, or? Yeah, the, yes. cog, the cog, and the, it, no, no. Okay, so now you, 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 you pedal it, Nancy. You pedal it right now. Now look at, look at me up here, okay? I'm going to hit this one here. Keep pedaling. You feel it change? You like lighter. it's getting easier in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to a lower number. Keep pedaling. Oh, it's just nothing. Okay. Now I'm going here. I'm clicking on this side, right? The back side. Yeah. See how it's getting a little harder to pedal? Okay, okay. You Wait, keep going, keep pedaling, keep pedaling. Can I ask pedaling. you something? Yeah. Are these, oh, these are the same things. Okay. Yeah, yeah, push yeah, okay. and pull. Oh, now it's getting hard. Now it's really yeah. hard. Now it might be too hard. So, right. Oh, that's too light. A little better. That's too light, though. Well, right now it is yeah, because right. your wheel has got up some speed now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, so here's what I want you to do. When you're out there, leave this guy in two. For okay, now. leave it in two. Pretty much around here, you're good. Okay. We'll d we'll deal with that lesson two next <laughs> next week, all right? So when I go up the hill, you're going to be pushing this one. 
And I want to easier go to pedal here, harder to pedal here. It even says so if you look carefully enough. Yeah, I have to my reading glasses when I'm riding. Oh, low. <laughs> See, it says low here, so that's pushing you to a lower gear. So okay. push to make it easier, pull to make it harder. Okay. On this side. Okay. It's the opposite on this side, but don't worry about that side. This side. Uh, you right. know, like my feeling about biking is I don't want to feel the intensity of a spin class. I don't want to be like, right. mm -hmm. I don't want to feel like, oh my God, I'm dying. Yeah, I right. want it to be hard, but enjoyable. Right. You're now, a cruiser. All of a sudden, we turn the corner and we got a hill. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make it a little easier. Click, click, click. Okay. Get up over the top of the hill. And then. Now all of a sudden, make it a little harder. Okay. This one. Click, click, click. I don't have a bike lesson. <laughs> I know. That's why we're here, Dan. That's why we're here. Don't miss. There you go. All right, talk to me. Good to hear from you. She's all set. She's all set. Eric Cable adjusted. Good yep. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm so you're here. No problem. Thanks for having us. Thank you yeah. for being here yourself. And you guys did a great. I love my bike pack. Let me get my wallet. That's a nice bag. Well, you know what? I really wanted to abandon the bike pack. I love the bike pack. I think, I don't know who told me, saying I can't get like a proper basket in this bike pack. Not on that bike. But I have to tell you, I go super fast. Yeah. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to tell you, I go super fast. I have to Excellent. 2172, man. Yes, yes, yes. No problem. Let's see back where it goes. I think today's the coldest day of the week. It's cold. I mean, like, I, I feel like I don't my bike. You're a great girl. You're welcome. Keep them ended. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Like, I'm telling you, snow or ice are the only way to keep me out. Uh, or bitter cold, I won't. My husband, I said, do you want, my husband, you want to the bike ride me to the bike ride? No, thank you, welcome to me in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like, I don't, it's, it's my gym. That's it, there you go. That's good. Thank you, guys. Thank I you gave you your card back, day. you're good? Yeah, you're going to help her out? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm right. Thank you, guys. Have a lovely new year. You too. We'll see you. Have a good holiday. Yep. Yeah. Oh goodness! You should not be holding the door for me. I, I got it. Oh no, I got it. Thank you. You're Have welcome. Weekend. You too. Go call your girlfriend back. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Stay warm. Thank you. No, uh, hell no! I'm not calling her back. Who's that? Who who called? Oh, what's the matter? She's got she. I I just got her address. You're going after the show to go pick up her bike or fix it on the spot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, my heart started pounding, and I was like, I don't want to. It's not really my girlfriend. Well, she called. Uh, what's the problem? Here comes one of these. Telling you, Whatever, Bart, I should have done it. I should have done it the other day. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you guys what I was going to to do, but I done it. Just, I, 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 I could. The bike's misery could have been finished. The bike has got. It, I mean, this bicycle has got to be from 1945. She puts no money into it except for flat tires and it's got so much good you've seen it before, guys. But whatever. Moochers, labor, and you, know, you got to give your sign. That's number one. Number two, you do not be afraid to ask. You sell, you got to ask for the sale. You sell it there, you got to ask for the sale. I think it was, it couldn't have been better what happened just now. Now, you got to play it however you want. I'm going to deal with discounts in a minute. Um, this young lady that just came in here, she's a new, she's fairly new. The bicycle did not come from us. It came from a competitor approximately 25 miles east of us. Good bike. If that bike had a Bike Man For You sticker on it, again, you've heard me say it before, membership has its privileges. Yes, this is does. why it's important to get a local bike shop that you feel comfortable with and that you like. If that was our bike, there probably would have been no charge on that. But hey, how can I, you know, again, because I've seen her before. Now she did, she bought a thing and blah, blah, blah. You know, gear adjustments are 35 to 40 bucks here. We went easy, 20 bucks. I kind of feel it was going to be an easy one. She's a preferred customer, right? I might have sold her that bag. I don't know who sold her the bag. Actually, I think you did. And Tony, and Tony told her she couldn't, uh, 
yeah, yeah. Uh, put, put a, a basket yeah. on Yeah. And then uh, Freddie came okay. inside. And so again, we helped her the first time. Right. We, we, now, and again, she wasn't looking for something for free. No, she was like, that's fine, she that's knew fine. That she, she knew she, now she was not a moocher, she's not, but no. don't you fall into the trap of, oh, it was two seconds for me. Here, take it away, free. You're going to go out of business, guys. You're right. gonna go out a bit. You have right. to get money somehow. You gotta get some bucks. So you something. have the knowledge. Something. You. It's gotta every be. single one of you bike shops out there that are watching. You have the knowledge. They do not. It costs you money to get that knowledge. We need lunch. We need lunch money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we it's gotta not eat. That you're getting, you know, and, and you're trying to make a living. It's not like you're trying to kill the people and go off like raising drug prices like this schmuck I see on the CEO on um, for some damn drug company with these EpiPen things. This guy is greedy. This guy is evil. Six hundred dollars. Really? They should be free. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> these other, you know, these guys are make us meaning the other guys look bad we are here we got to make a living don't be afraid to charge period depending upon your area discounts on occasion you have a friend come in and you Ooh, want sorry. to give them a discount you have somebody that's a loyal customer you want to give them a discount you have somebody that's here or there or whatever and you know they're going to be asking for a discount or whatever and you gotta you, and in order to help you you might have to give them a discount there are situations where you need to do a discount or give them a cup holder Right, or whatever, you know, yeah, yeah. throw something, whatever it may be. Now, how do you handle a discount, okay? Do you have anything published? I wouldn't. If that's what you want to do, if you want to give a 10% discount to uh, old geezers and, uh, and, uh, and veterans and uh, this one and that one, fine, so be it. Do it's it. a whatever okay, club fine. or okay, something. We don't have a senior citizen discount, okay? If somebody comes in here with a vet or this or that, yeah. We'll do something. But what I call it is not necessarily, I don't have it published. It's called a professional discount. That's how I word it. And then when they come in and they purchase a bicycle, maybe it's a high school friend from God knows how long ago. All right? Um, and you can, it can be a sliding scale of professional discount. 10%, 15%, 20%, cost, whatever you want to do. A professional discount. And then you can, and then tell them, you know, beat them to the punch. Hey man, haven't seen you in such a long time. Thanks. Yeah, I'd like to purchase this bike. Blah blah blah. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you know I haven't. I'm gonna give you a professional discount at ten bucks or ten percent. Oh, thanks, thanks, Bart. Thanks. I, they're happy. We're happy. Everybody's go. That's how you deal with discounts, moochers, discounts, and pricing. Dun, 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 dun. Did I make that clear? Danny Panetta. <laughs> Danny Panetta. When you started talking about moochers. Um, he he just said one line, name your price, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, and I was like, <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, he remembers. Have, yeah. All right, and that's a cheap. That's not, not again. You're not necessarily a moocher. That's a cheap He's state. Cheap state that's a cheap but state. But that's still, you know, whatever. However, you guys want to wear to put your comments in but, below after the show syndicates. <laughs> right. We love to hear it. Uh, we love that. Uh, but uh, you know, and sometimes you have fun with him. We had fun with that day. That, uh, everybody, we did, he every time that he comes in, we always are like, "Yeah, whatever." <laughs> so we played a game with this. This is another one now. All right, you can do this if you would like. You know what? Today, and you start right off the bat, man. Today is name your own price at Bike and Kite, or Bike Man for you. And road and road bike guys too. And oh be yeah, no, oh, yeah. God. Road bike guys that go on the net and think they know it all. Oh, yeah. Okay, and think, oh yeah, here, can you just put this on, or can you just, I, I know, oh, oh, this is a famous one, okay? Here's one. Oh, can wait, I wait. borrow an Allen wrench? Oh, right. hell no. No, you can buy a $15 park tool. That's exa Absolutely. exactly. Do not loan your tools. tools. If you are a craftsman, you do not loan your tools. Hell ever. no. Nope. Nope. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay, very professional. Do not loan your tools. I'm awfully sorry I don't loan my tools, but how may, how may I help, help you? you? May I help you? Right. Not can I. How may I help you? Because you know that you can help them. You know that. But may I have the privilege of helping you, sir, so that way I can get some do-re me. All right? Um, Pep sucker. So that's how you deal with that one. Uh, where was I going with that? Oh, name your own price. Oh, right, yeah. So, uh, yeah. You know, again, the guy, Back yeah, to, and, and you know, we that. play with the guy, and, he, and he's the type of guy that can take the abuse so badly, and he just doesn't mind. So I don't know why. We let him rip. He always we're alive, has... and we let him rip. We let him hang himself. 
you know? And he paid us, I don't know what the hell it was, 20 bucks or something like that. Where less. we probably, yeah, it was, we were probably, if I, again, we were just, you, if you do do that it, trick it, of the name your own price and you kind of get, the, they understand. I it mean, was a you lot. You've got to be prepared to eat it. <laughs> okay, you've got to be prepared to but eat it. But it was perfect because it, because that was a perfect live show, and it was, I think it was towards, like, the end, and we were like, you know what, let's just yeah, do it, yeah. and we were like, fine. So we I think it was like, actually, like, a cold out still, right? I don't remember when that was, but it was fun. Well, it was spring, I think, early spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right. fun, though. So right. that brings us to our new, our contest. <gasps> Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I am going to post a picture right here and now on Instagram. What else we got coming up, BMX Boy? Where's my notes at? What do we got? What do we got? I don't know. Oh, pet bike. Why don't you bring in a pet bike? You don't want to do the pet bike. Why do I have to bring it in? <laughs> you want to do it. The pet bike. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. The pet bike. Dang it. Ooh, looks like Wolfie did a new uh, a new uh, a new model over there. Nice, a Sherman Firefly tank. Wolfie's into uh, Wolfie's into models, making models. And Come stuff. here. He makes some really cool models. Thanks right for there. being a friend and a fan, Wolfie. By the way, uh, one of the blue wrenches we have. Uh, why am I? I'm scrolling through my thing like I'm uh, I'm at home. Here. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's a right, daisy. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, Rota, I was gonna put you in there. Oh, I want that. All right. Picture. Come on. Come on, side. Oh, boy. That looks pretty good. I don't need any filter or anything. Go. Right, while we're taking a break here, while we're cutting, you know, go, maybe go, you want to get go, to the go. fridge, get yourself a snack or do something like that. If you stop being so weird, just walked in the damn door. Go. Ow. Our last video. Goddamn cumbersome piece of freaking Jiminy Cricket, son of a... Guess the mileage. <sighs> Hit my hip like nine times on this freaking. Who, so who oh, oh, was the winner oh. on our last video? Guess the mileage. I should put guess the mileage in quotations, I guess, huh? Eh, probably. Hashtag bike man for you. So I was trying to put Rota in this to bring it in. <laughs> she wouldn't she wasn't feeling it. <laughs> um, I respect her opinion. She, she was actually quite mad at uh, me. Uh, I just picked that thing up from way down there on Dune Road. Uh, it's Bollocks! It's lightweight, isn't it? <laughs> I'm giving myself a freaking hernia here. Help me. You need some help? I couldn't uh, get it in the ask, stand. I got the rear end. Oh, dang it. No, because that's... We need that EBT special tool to help this bicycle. Because stupid freaking basket. All right, I got it. You got it? Oh, you love it. Be because of the stupid freaking rear basket, I couldn't oh, bring the seat up. Hashtag live stream. Hashtag bike man for you. <sighs> Too bad we don't have, like, a somebody to bleep me because I would just stand here and bleep for, like, five minutes straight. Uh, a, <laughs> yeah, that's that's easier said. It's a great idea, Felix. I love that idea, but uh, it's a little. It's it, you know, who's gonna sit through and see all that? And when are the, there's a couple uh, of uh, there's, some, there's some. We got. We there are some, and we you know, if we had more people to be able to you know, there's one specific. Structure them and write it down, and then get through it. I mean, there's so many things we can do, guys. We just don't have the time or the do re me to be able to do it. No, it's actually, I don't know what it is. I think we're going to look it over here in about, about <laughs> two seconds. I just want to get this contest thing. There's a fu fu uh, funny quick story about a, a blooper that I would love to, to see on a video. Um, it was when we were, uh, we were shooting tires at your house at the Breeze. <laughs> and um, I don't know what, I was doing something and I was, and I was constantly uh, moving around and I was behind Antonio. And I was constantly like going back and forth because I was picking up stuff, and I guess I was di distracting Bike Man. And at one point in time, <laughs> he kind of snapped at me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what he said, but um, <laughs> it'd be great to let uh, bleep it out. <laughs> All right. So our winner on YouTube. Okay, is Barry McCracken. His guess was sixteen thousand sixty-one. Uh, he 
Barry McCracken, who's a friend of, I think his brother's name is Phil. Philip. Yeah. His Philip is uh, Philip is his brother. Phil's a nice and, guy. Uh, He's a bit strange though. Uh, so we got to get a message out to Barry, and uh, in our in our winner over? again, Barry McCracken, get your email. Uh, get us your email. <laughs> Email us at <laughs> bikemanforyou at bikemanforyou.com. Your address. Pretty simple. You've got a goodie bag coming to you. Now, the guy on Instagram who is the winner is... Somebody asked if that was Howie's bike. No, it wasn't Howie's bike. Uh, you guys uh, missed Ike Howie How, yesterday. We had Howie this week. Sorry. Oh, we had Wheelie, Wheelie King 03 at 10,988. He was close. Ooh. Here it is. Max Kim 01 at 15... Thousand, you're close. Oh, Jaunty, 68, 57, uh, 1570, mm. 759. He's close. He's close. He's the closest. Jaunty, Jaunty, Jaunty. Anybody else? Anybody else? Is that all of them? Jaunty is the winner, eh? I guess so. Jeez. Yep. Okay. So mm. we got to give a comment back to him right over on the Instagram. This is the one with Freddie and his beautiful knife. Which one? The, you and your knife. This is the video that we did on Instagram. What video was that? Oh, my dog will fit in there. Hell no. Hey, Dude, you are yeah, a if we winner. stuffed him in, he Email. Oh, yeah. If you know, <laughs> put his legs down and shoved him in there, yeah, he probably fit. Ow. your address and you will receive a goodie bag post okay that takes care of the contest bada bing all right we gotta we gotta go over to last week's uh, you super complete you super literate computer literate guys out there if you could do me a big favor, maybe, and uh, go over to last week's show, you'll see Barry McCracken's uh, uh, guests on there, and maybe email him, hey, man, you won. Did you see it on the live show? Uh, or, or maybe a couple of you guys could go. That, that would really uh, blow things up, and that way you'd tell. Again, the interaction, the reason that our show is so successful and that we so, have so much fun is because of you guys. All, every one of you guys. All of you guys make I our miss show. My beard. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are the best for tuning into the Bike Man for You show. All right. Pet bike. Da -na 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 -na. Pet bike. Oh, this lady had a long, drawn-out story. La, 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 I live down on Dune Red, la, 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 I don't know if the erosion, blah, la, 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 my bike is one year old, blah, 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 where'd you buy it? The internet, blah, 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 I says, oh, goody, blah, blah, I built it on myself, blah, blah, blah. I just, I didn't think it was going to be as nice of a bike as what I thought it was going to be when I heard her say the internet. She purchased all of it on the internet. This is a pet basket. This is designed for just that. It's got a little thingy here where you had to hook this on to here. Yeah, oh, see, that's my. where I couldn't get it quick enough before Rhoda jumped, jumped out. out of it. I put her in there and I closed it. She <laughs> just went. <laughs> oh, she found it. Shot out. Now and she's kind of beefed this thing up with some strappage here. It's got a little screw thing. It is definitely designed to go onto a bike with a rack, and it is designed for a pet. What is this thing? <gasps> Excuse me. I don't even know what the. Oh, well, I would imagine, oh, this part here? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she's, you know, I don't know. I don't, that's a good question, Fred. I think it should go back a little bit, but then when you start handling a pet, uh, and then when it off the, the pet back, goes to the back, be... it'll go through the basket. Ooh, you know, it's like the pop a wheel. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> uh, what does the head tube on this thing say? What is this bike? It's like a off-brand Chinelli symbol. symbol. Yeah. It doesn't uh, say, we got no, it doesn't so, actually I, wanna, say I want somebody name. to look it up and see how much, it, how, oh, how much this wait, thing wait, costs. Wait, how much was this bike? Again, this Wait. is what we're dealing with now, guys. The six internet. three zero. A six three zero is but the it's, name of the no, bike. Spell it out. It's you know six three uh, zero S -I -X -T -H -R. spelled out. S i x t h r. There you go. Okay. Yep. Uh, and it's uh, designed in Los Angeles, California. Your journey, your experience. So there you have. Is their slogan, I guess. 
Um, it is a entry level cruiser style bicycle, but it's got some decent componentry on it. It's got some alloy wheels and whatnot. She's got this thing built up to a tank, though. It is a cruiser. It's the equivalent to a giant simple seven. Uh, the Giant Simple 7 would be a very similar bicycle to this. Yes, it would. would you agree with that? Yeah. Uh, it is a 8-speed, 7-speed. What do we got there? 7-speed. Seven 7-speed, seven I think. She's got some accessories going on here. And some she's, accessories? She's got a lot of accessories. Uh, she's got the pet basket. She's got a Nantucket basket uh, working on these with guys. The so awesome, uh, with the awesome trap. You know, if you got if, you, if she catches the trout on the way, she could yeah, just put yeah. it in the trout exactly. basket. You know what I mean? She's got a phone That's holder got a little, with her. a lot of dune roaditis happening. Yeah. She's got another one year. One year, one year She's one got year another rise. mount here for a, a bag. A different. I'm, going, I'm going to get that bag that came with it. So I had to go dig in the back of the garage. You missed uh, it. You didn't have anything oh, idea okay. about that, so I'll be right back. I, I didn't. And then uh, <laughs> she's got this little fancy uh, light. They got a light. Got a light. Got the mirror going on. What's in the What's in the basket, Fred? Look out now! It might bite you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what do you got? Ferrets. Gotcha. Is that a gotcha. or something like that? I got you now. Barrett? Barrett. You know, huh? You're going in the uh, basket. You're going to go in the basket. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, that is... This is a bracket for a lock. A couple bungees uh, and the back starts so, falling off. Some more re replacement bungee cords. Little buckle. Oh. Wiggy's not around Oh, she. <laughs> not around today, so that cat right. looks uh -oh. pissed, right, right, man. Well, I can get my dog and stuff him in there. <laughs> yeah, we got, we we got can, Rhoda in the house. We can stuff Ru Winnie Ru in. Rue, I'm so sorry. You ain't gonna like that. No, that cat is not gonna like it. In, now, Rhoda, you wanna get in here just for a second? Like I don't that. know, I tried it. I'm sorry, I'm so buddy. sorry. Please huh? don't hate there me. Ah, oh, freaking out. Yeah, we it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, don't worry. Oh, she is so tense. It isn't even funny. <laughs> like, all right, what are you kidding me? All right, you want to get out? All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let going. her jump out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flying kitty. All right, buddy. You're a good girl. Love you. See ya. Uh, next. Fancy light that don't work. It, oh, no, it does. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it works. Uh, it's almost dead. The red light's on. It's a rechargeable. But it's got a little battery pack. Good old yeah. battery pack. Is it Howie? I hope not. Come here. Come here. Come here. We are open. We are here until four o'clock today. What time? What's up? What do you need? Tease. Okay. Yeah. Oh god. And then this is one of those fancy lights that has uh Oh, never mind. Dead. You should be here till four. Absolutely. Are you looking at coming close in that four inch range? Or are you looking at three inch or where are we where are we at? I'm gonna get some bicycles out so that I'm ready to go for it. Okay. I know Nick. So we're looking for a new a bike a bike for Nick other than the BMX is what you're looking for. Gotcha. I got you. I guess it makes a lot of sense. What's your first name? What's Santa Claus bring me? Bring me. Nothing. Come on, Nate. I'll see you a little while. Cause, uh, yeah. I I don't need anything. I'm pretty well set. You want to go back out? I mean, I, I, I mean, I could always use a, a new knife. So, I don't know. I, I always carry, you know, a one or two. So. All right, back to our six one six. Was it six three six? Uh, it's six three one. I six, think, it, or something That's like that. Code. I don't know. Hold on. Anybody six, figure out how much this bike costs? Yeah. Six three zero. Here, I'll freaking know. How much? Really? Thank you. Okay, I don't know why they call it a hybrid. I call it a cruiser. It's a 26 inch wheel. Whatever. Whatever. All right. What happened to this bicycle? 
I bought in a basket. This is the basket I had to get. This is the basket and lock that I had to get. She's oh my junk. god! Look, look at, at that lock. Whoever sold her this or whatever, I don't know where she. I don't know. I just don't. But this is supposed to go on to this bracket here. Again, all of this stuff was purchased on the internet. Who is this? This is an Axum. Is it? Nice basket. There's a nice. There, there, yeah, it isn't a bad little this basket. This could also be used on a uh, rack. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, it, it, right. It has these. This is a pretty nice basket. But I like again, that. oh, this, look, it's like quick touch. It must yeah. go on to their basket, their uh, rack or something, maybe. I don't uh, know. Whatever. Looks like it might have something that oh. hooks the hook to hit the. Wait, here. Uh, it goes like this. I, I, I've actually. Oh, where does this move? Oh, yeah. That is a pretty nice basket. You pulled the uh, levers. But I'm just saying, I think it's got to go to the their basket, their their oh, rack, because I think it would hook on. Yeah. You know what I mean? But could but you? I mean, it probably would work. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Try, let go. Kind of. Not bad. That's kind of cool. No, no, he'd lose it. No, he, he would nope, pop nope, off. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> if it's not, <laughs> he needs to be bolted and glued and screwed and Stapled nailed and, and everything and else. Whatever. Chained, <laughs> welded. Quick release and Howie do not go together. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's still sturdy, too. Yeah, it's right. still going. It's, it's not even <laughs> chipped. It's not even chipped. Man. Um, all right. What happened to this bicycle? She said something happened to my brake. Okay, this is a tell. This happens. Oh, let's take that basket off so we can really yeah, show. Yeah, please. Glad we got it. The thing is annoying the crap. In order to right? get to where we got to get to, we got to show people what happened. She was kind of blaming it on doing wrong. They were just that and the other thing. Um, I'm. Uh, uh, I think somebody look at the little furl on the where the cable. It looks like somebody flyered it or something. Well, I'm going to show you. I I know exactly what happened. You kind of do too. The way the wheel. Handlebar did a little spin -a Uh While we're waiting and while we're breaking for a minute, I'm just going to go hit the head. Let me move down, and uh, I'll be right back. All right. Oof. Oh, that's what he, he happened. Yeah. Oh, boy. Luckily, this thing's savable. Okay, it was all bent up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, it was like a it was all up. yeah, it's all mangled and everything. It was definitely I'll pull that with some force. <laughs> What's that? It looks uh, like uh, paper by uh, Freddy's oh. feet. <coughs> all right, so we got that. We so are we done with our conversion of all of that other business? All yeah. Did, did everybody understand that? Did we make that clear before we go on to this next did project we? all the way? I don't know. Did we? Oh, I got to turn my mic back on. I don't know. It's as clear as mud. It's basically a game of guess and test. It's basically a game of guess and test. This is mine, right? That is yours. Uh, when it comes to wheels and whether it's not going to fit and the dimension of the brake itself from whatever the reach of the caliper. I did pull up a brake here that was uh, up to 73. Maybe you guys want to take a look at this. We'll go, I'm, I'm backtracking just a hair, but you guys get to... What's that? Yeah, I guess. There it is. Yep, I'm there. Go ahead. Let's get rid of that. Uh, all right, let me take this, hit this. Okay, so now you get the idea. Oh, From the top of this real quick. to here, okay? The far, the, 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 the pull on this, okay? That's the reach of any of this style of caliper. This is the Tiktro R369, as you can see. Uh, but as you can see, the reach is 55 to 73 millimeters. That is going to cover all of your needs. 
Now this one happens to have a recess nut. That means, well, whatever. <laughs> Again, you're probably going to need some help. They do have some in California and Florida. Where's the closest warehouse to us is probably North Carolina. Nope, they got it in PA. We could have this a set of these things in, within a day. <clears throat> we don't stock it. But there you have it on that brake problem, if you have it, but you might not have it. All right, covers that. You might not have the problem. So you, again, the guess and test. All right, here we go to do this. What the heck is going on with that? <clears throat> oh, all right, I guess. Press. That's a pretty heavy duty basket for this kind of chintzy chintzy bracket we'll show you that when we get it down all right what happened with this bicycle this guy here is the brake noodle and somebody tried to fix it at the looks of things too that could be partially why this thing is all gummed up here on the end of the furrow <clears throat> they put here this oh, that right now this is going to go on to here like this right and this is going to go into there like that they tried to fix it themselves they couldn't okay it takes us two seconds to fix it uh actually we'll I'll go, <clears throat> you're gonna have to zoom in here tight after i show you what happened here first though tone all right so this is all in here and kind of like that that's how it was originally now this has been bent up and whatnot so far so we got to bend it back but we're going to show you what's going on this happens all the time De again, now, it depends upon what the sticker says in terms of what you're going to charge them. You cannot afford to go fix the Internet bicycle for free, even though it took you two seconds to send them on their way. Can you bundle it together with something? Can you, you, know, can you get a little history of the bicycle? Uh, yeah, the bicycle was born on the Internet. Who put it together? Well, I kind of did, and my friend kind of helped. And, and, I, and, and, oh, yeah, and by the way, could you please check that kickstand while you got it in there for that? That's another famous trick of the customer. And they don't mean any harm by it. They're just, you know. And they're willing to, don't, don't sell it for free, man. Oh, you need to tighten the kickstand. Well, what else is going on? Excuse me, Mr. Customer, while you were putting your bicycle together, did you happen to tighten the crank here? Um, usually, uh, that's kind of a tell, you know, you should tighten that crank. And, you know, did, how'd you do with the brakes? And did you check? How about this, Miss Customer? Now, again, fix, they're coming in for this. This is, you got to become a salesman, okay? I understand you purchased the bicycle from the internet and, uh, you know, you put it together yourself. Do you think we should do a professional check over on the whole bike? Ding. That gives you, yeah, that would be great. Cool. We charge 60 bucks. Cool. And we're going to take care of everything you need. Sure. Cool. Now, again, depending upon what's going on, uh, she's got a pickup charge. She's got a delivery charge. Uh, maybe we don't have a delivery charge. She might be coming in to pick it up. But we went and picked it up. Again, another charge, man. The more time, you got to charge. I'm not saying to kill them, but you can't be doing it for free. Internet. Internet and more internet. you got to learn to deal with it, guys, and it's going to come down to it and hold your ground. Okay, fine. I'm awfully sorry, miss. I can't help you. Oh, how about if, can you do it for 50 bucks? I'm sorry, ma'am. My price is my price. Try to have a no bargaining policy, too. Again, moochers, discounts, labor rates. All right, back to what happened here. This here was like this, all connected. The bicycle was sitting somewhere or done this, and the bike fell over. With all this crap on it, it's no wonder the damn bike fell over. The thing is a tank. It's heavy. You're putting it on this, on this kickstand, which is kind of a cheesy kickstand to begin with. But it is a double one. It's better. It's you know. Supposedly it's better. But put it in the sand. Put this through that. The bike is going to go kablunk. So now the customer picks up the bicycle off of there. And this starts to twist around. Now right in here, TD. You can see how when I start to do this and start to do this and start to do this. You see what's going on there? Making, right there, Tony Joe. Right there, Tony Joe. You with me, Tom? Okay, good. And it keeps on going, and it keeps on going, and it keeps on going, and it keeps on going. And you can see how she's getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And she keeps on going and 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 keeps on going. And she gets to about here. Okay? Turn the whole bike that way because it's really starting to stretch the crap out of this thing. 
you can see that. And now she put it here like this, and she's trying, and the wheel is rubbing and all of the above, and you can see all the tension on here, and she's like, oh my goodness, something's wrong. And then she goes like this, and then she goes like this, and you can see the whole thing is starting to really, really start, and now she's got a big lever. It's <laughs> He's waiting for it to go, ping! Um, but that's what's going on, and then it just kept on going, and that's what happened. And then she comes back, oh, at least my wheel is spinning, but my brake doesn't work anymore. What happened? Turn it around, put it back together. Now, she bent the crap, and we didn't do this right now. I mean, we might have helped it along. But you can see how this is all bent out of shape. And this is not going to fit in there properly. It's going to pull right through if you squeeze the caliper really hard. So, BMX boy, perform the magic. He's taking a pair of needle nose and he's uh, kind of forming it back into shape. And it should be golden. It should be golden. <laughs> I'll be here till 4 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> what type of insurance do you take? <clears throat> All right. Now, when you're bending them back, um, it's proper to just ever so slightly give this you know like that an overall squeeze just because when it pulls through it tends to spread it too you know just a quick just you know not much just a quick to squeeze it back sometimes i'll even put the put the put the noodle back into its slot and squeeze it together on the noodle itself right. to make sure it's even that that gives you the the proper action <laughs> Got to keep it clean, nice boys and, and girls. We got now. Look at that, huh? Everything's working a lot better. Now we're gonna go on to now that we got our cable back in action. The front wheel. She took the front wheel off. She really. I, she she I messed noticed. with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got it. No problem. Uh, oh, on that labor rate sign that you're gonna have up there, the one with uh, labor rate X, labor rate if you watch, labor rate if you help. You should have another one. Labor rate if you tried to do it yourself first. <laughs> I yeah. have a dollar for every time I, I built it myself. I can tell. <laughs> um, no. Oh, I was looking over to Instagram. The uh, oh, got some great guys on our uh, on our site here. Going comments on our last uh, on our last picture there. Thank you guys. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. We got the green. He liked our photo. Uh, Clark Kent 05, he liked our photo. Loco Joe, Jay Menta, Silver Fox, Silver Fox to you, bring it on home. Uh, uh, I follow him on Instagram. Oh, he is the coolest. What's, uh, he, do? what's he do for a living? Yeah. He drives a snowplow in the winter. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, it gets better. <laughs> Not just any snowplow. The snowplow is attached to a large garbage truck. Okay. New Where? York City. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's even cooler. Can you imagine driving a snowplow in New York City? How oh. much fun that would be? You're just destroying cars as you come he, you know, there. he posts these photos in the middle of these snowstorms a couple of years back, and he's going, you know, he's got the, the pictures of the front end of the truck, and, the, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and you just see the pile of snow. snow, and there's all these parked cars, and he's just plowing them, you know, he's just, <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. I picture him, uh, his ass off. Anyway, he's a really cool guy, you check him out, Silver Fox to you, uh, nice guy. Uh, he's, he's a member of, I think they call him New York's Strongest. New York's Strongest? Right? You got the bravest, you got the, oh, you know, all right, New York's Strongest. He's a sanitation worker. That's right? awesome. Sanitation. He, good guy. Uh, <clears throat> oh, we got Deal Chipmunk. He also liked our photo. Cool. This part tool is screwdrivers. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. Oh, they're coming through big time. Uh, tickle. Tickle T Mill, something like that. Track stand, track stand Dan. That's a Bring good it on. Name. That is a good name. Yeah. Loco Joe Jamenta, Silver Fox, Giraffe Boy 19. Thank you so much. That's a creepy name. 
Oh, we had a new, uh, one new follower. Thank you very much. Alan, baby. Hey, Alan, I got a question for you. Alan, Alan is over there in Indonesia. Did Alan get, uh, did you get the big shake? Did you have a little shake over there? Or what's the story? I've been hearing about these earthquakes over in Indonesia and this place and that way. Uh, I hope everybody's safe and sound over there. I've, uh, I've only experienced an earthquake, a little itty bitty one here one time, and Tony Joe was right standing right next to me and she never felt the damn thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, uh, it was a little mini one, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm like, something's happening. I thought, I thought it was something, I thought, I thought something was wrong with myself. I thought, I didn't know. Them. I saw the kind of door frame do one of these a little bit, and I'm like, whoa, uh, whoo, that was some good stuff I had for lunch. No, it wasn't anything to do with lunch. It was, it was as it turned out, it was actual earthquake, but Tony Joe was sitting right there. She didn't feel a thing. Um, and then, you know, in the news, oh, West Hampton, Long Island had a small earthquake, blah, blah, blah. But uh, some of these earthquakes are big. Like, you know, this stuff is really, <laughs> get outside, hurry up, yeah. you know. Uh, so I feel for you. Alan C., I hope you're all right. At the sounds of things, you're still here doing the thing. Uh, what do you got there, BMX boy? What is that pump there you got going on there? Is that a new pump to the this bike, man, for this? new Surface FP35. Nice looking pump there. I like this pump. Very nice. A very large gauge, very easy uh, reading without glasses. Nice. <laughs> <Black man. laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Glad to hear it. Alan's team in Thailand, not Indonesia. Oh. Stands back is a thousand miles away from him. Oh, all right. Well, hey. It's got a. Uh, Thanks, Alan. It's got a nice dial here. So if your bike takes 85, you can just kind of. Set it and forget it. Thank you, Ron. All right. You know, you guys forgot to say that she had like lights all over the place. She got lights in the back here, one, two. You forgot those accessories on that bike. Yeah. Come over to our Instagram. Come over to our Facebook. Come over to our Twitter. Come on down. Bring it on home. Share it with your friends. That's another thing you guys all could really help me out with is sharing our show with all of our friends. Carlito75, thanks for uh, giving us a like on that Instagram. Thanks, babe. All right, bring it on home. So BMX boys is good. So we're going to go over the bike a little bit for this lady. We're going to make sure that she assembled it correctly. We're going to tighten up the crank. We're going to make sure that, you know, we know what comes on. Handlebars, pedals, crank. We, you know, we do this all day, every day. And this is what we do. And we're the best at what we do. Okay? So we're going to go over this whole bike and we're going to charge her 60 bucks. Period. Then we made some lunch money. She's supposed to come in maybe tomorrow. Uh, while well, you're finishing that going on with that, I'm going to go over, uh, let's go over holiday gifts, man. Where are we at? Oh, we still got 20 minutes to go. Oh, we're not going to get, we had so much stuff to cover. We're still doing really good in our off season. Uh, off season, you know, as you can see, the bicycle laboratory. During the season, though, it's a whole nother ball game. We'll stream for four hours, and uh, we capture a lot of customer action. And in the winter time, it's more of a laboratory, which is kind of stuff that we're showing you and doing that kind of stuff. And we, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Uh, don't forget, thumbs up, baby. Give us that thumbs up. All right, back on gifts, holiday gifts. All of your people out there, your loved ones, they're into cycling. So, or what? You got to get yourself a gift. How about a little stocking stuffer? You don't have to spend them a lot of money. You can get them a little stocky stepper. How about we'll start off with the EVT Safe Zone Mirror. Bada bing! Made from a really heavy duty. This happens to be the limited edition bike man for you EVT helmet mirror, safe zone mirror. Uh, you too, if you buy one from us at bikemanforyou.com, you will get a sticker that you can also put and make it a custom make EVT. Your very own limited edition EVT safe zone mirror whoops that latch this latch is so cool on this helmet it's really cool so your EVT safe zone mirror I should have my glasses on what do I do now <laughs> Spazzing out there for a minute. Struggling. <laughs> I stare over it. I can just see this. Yeah, so I'm like, hmm, how am I going to... That's the... It really sucks getting old. I hate, that's the worst thing. The eyes. 
EVT Safe Zone Mira, it uh, really, really step by step mounting instructions. It's simple, it's easy, it's impact resistant, infinite adjustments, large two and a quarter mirror, easy secure mounting, quality made in the United States of America. When you put one of these on, you can constantly be scanning what's going on behind you. It works really well. If you're into helmet mirrors, it will fit onto just about any mirror. EVT Safe Zone Mira, get them at bikemanforyou.com. Bada bing boo. Next up. Cali Protectives, a beautiful sponsor, presenter of the Bike Man For You show. Uh, we really, really love safety. Uh, safety takes no holiday, and you got to be safe because otherwise you can't ride the next day. So get yourself a helmet. Safety takes no holiday. This happens to be the Danu, but there's a whole bunch of different Cali helmets you can get. But Cali helmets are nice. They got this retention device in the back that really tightens it up. This is not a cheapo garbage uh, Amazon Toys R Us helmet. This is the real deal, guys. Get yourself a real deal helmet. They're only about 50, 60 bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood to start with you can get up to you know but you don't need but don't you know those cheapo five dollar ten dollar helmets if you got a ten dollar head wear a ten dollar helmet bring it on home another must have this is what we were talking about before uh if you're any kind of anything or doing anything in terms of allen keys and you need a four five and six millimeter allen key not just for bicycles it can be used for anything i've put beds together from ikea with one of these damn things okay so this is the way to go this is a great tool park tool aws1 gotta get yourself one get you some of that get you some Next, again, another safety device. This young lady here has got a whole bunch of ones. You don't have to go crazy, you know, but you can, never, you can never have enough, I think. Ooh, that one's pretty bright. Does yours flash? Mine flashes. Uh, front and rear say front and rear flashers, the CPR10. Oh, yeah, you got it flashing. That's pretty bright. All right. The CPR10 Apollo USB combo, two lights. And two charging cords. Okay. Uh, awesome. You know, really nice. Uh, what's that? This is made by Surface. Again, available at bikemanforyou.com. In order to charge them, you just unscrew this little bad boy right here. You take this, you put this. Gay Gazinta B, and this Gazinta them. You know Mr. Gazinta. He's a friend of the Gazanta. All right. About a big. Moving right along. Another really nice item, I think it's must have, is your cell phone holder stem bag, bada bing. And again, you know, guys, if you start to get into accessories, surface accessories are probably some of the best out there. Come on, Tony Joe, where are you? Bring it. The uh, surface, uh, surface is an award-winning company. An award-winning company for the bicycle shop because you are giving the customer the best quality product and you are making the most amount of money in return by selling the most quality product at a very reasonable price. They were, what was the name of the, what was the title of the award that they won, Tony Joe? Uh, most profitable. Most profitable, comp most profitable, comp most, sir yeah. Thing right there. Surface cell phone stem bag. Holds up the phones up to five and a half inches. It does have a replaceable top. We showed you this last week, but you know, you can get in there. Not only does it keep your phone up on the top here, you also can keep some stuff in here, like some money and some keys and some, you know, snacks. Snacks. Mini snacks. Boom. Stem bag by Surface. Of course, you know, we got a lot of surface product here um, for uh, for uh, the holiday. I mean, as you can tell, we have a lot of surface product. Got, Love surface. We got some new stuff coming in too. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. So uh, we said we needed a, 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 a product for today. And we said, you know, we should go with just a standard all around good old headlight. USB rechargeable headlight. This is the E Lumen. 450 lights in one small little compact light. Uh, I strongly recommend this is brand new for 2017. It's uh, they've changed it over a little bit. My flashlight. That's uh, nice. USB chargeable, little battery here. Want to check it out? It is metal. Oh, it is metal. Just in case you guys didn't. This is the first I've looked at it. This is the first I looked Me at too. this. I'm, uh, this is the first we pulled this out. 
Oh, it's got that nice bracket. I love this bracket. This Which bracket. One? This bracket oh, is the bracket. That one's so nice. And it's got off well, your USB, and it has your adjustable uh, uh, adjustable bracket there. without any tools needed. And it's really, it's true. When they say no tools needed, you really, you no know tools are needed to put this bracket on. Uh, that's right, right? And I don't. It, it's coming out of the package. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't much matter. Either it's charged or it's not charged. Uh, let me give you a little quickie on that. All right, overdrive, which is 450 lumens. It will run for two and a half hours at that. Look at that. High, which is the next one down, is only 200 lumens. It'll go for 3.5 hours. Medium, low. Medium is up to seven hours. Low will work for 14 and a half hours. So you got low, medium, high. And super high. Super Overdrive. High. Overdrive. Now you should have daytime flash, and then you should have a low flash. Daytime flash is 450 lumens shooting you in the light. That's for the daytime during the day. Uh, running a flashing light all the time when you're riding your bike is not a bad idea. I've day and night, on, uh, they do attract. You do see it. You don't think you would see it, but boy, when you're driving down the road, you see them. 51. Uh, uh, crap, the county road uh, 51 there. Yeah. There's always... Uh, there. Cyclists, and um, I've seen guys, you know, barreling down there with the lights on. Four, uh, like four o'clock, lights on, but they're still, you know, it's still bright out. But uh, I, you know, you can you can see them, you know, for a mile. Yeah, so long way, you know, and you're like, what is that? It's yeah. a flashing light, and then you yeah. finally start to come up so again. It brings the attention to it. Yeah. You know, you're automatically like, wow, what is that? And if you're, what is that? Well, so you, be it. You pull up, and it's. So All right, this bracket here, it kind of comes on and it hooks in. You with me on that, T? And then you can adjust it accordingly like a, like a watch thing. And then when this is on there, and depending on, you know, you can make it really infinitely, you know, really minute adjustments. But then this can turn all the way around on that bracket. So, if you, depend, you know, like on this bicycle here, this is what I was talking about. Can turn in and out. Now, like, like if you put it here, you know, it, it's there's so many different places that you can put it depending upon where you are in your handlebar, and then you can adjust this accordingly. Pretty nice. Yeah. I love this bracket. Oh yeah. This is the nicest. This is. I think all surface lights should have I this bracket have myself, but it's an expensive. It's an expen. You know, this is not a cheapy light. How much is this light, bike man? I don't know. I still have my. <laughs> uh, my uh, what is it? The, uh, I'm gonna look it up right now. Cause I, this light is nice. What light? TL. I have TL something. Old. Yeah, but it's uh, I've, I've had it for I don't know three years now. I think it's five hundred uh, lumens there. Brightest light ever. And uh, my and uh, I just broke my uh, rubber strap here. Uh, Tony Joe. What? I don't know what the price is of that light. Did you give Pam that light? Oh, okay, that's what I'm looking for. That's perfect. Thank you. <sighs> no. 
I'm stoned, don't worry. I'll take your cord, your uh... Mark, is your mic up? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So you... Oh, there it is. There, there it is. There, there it you is. go. There it is. So you take it like this. You put it onto your bridge. Now this is a little tricky, but it's really not that hard. You get both of your uh, you get both your ends in, in there, like so. This doesn't give me retails on here, no tone. I don't want to get this wrong, you know what I mean? If they go online and they start looking for this, I mean, there is map pricing enforced with this, and I don't want to get this wrong. Okay. So which, which one do you want to call? This one right here. This is so fresh right here. No, that's the combo. That's the combo. I just want it single. The single light. You want US 450. Got it. Thank you. Forty. I, I, I saw that. Woo. Forty-five bucks. Forty-five dollars. That's it. For that one. Nice light. Four hundred and fifty lumens for forty-five bucks, man. That is crazy. I like this light even more now. <coughs> wow. Nice light. Get yourself one. All right. What's that? Oh, extremely good value. All right, this goes back in. This goes back in. What do you got? Oh, you got the little TL. Yeah, I was trying to light action. Show them it. So that's it. In a nutshell, um, I could spend more time and get it completely centered, but then you yeah, click it on. So. But yes, it is. Um, it's also got there. Uh, there are certain seat bags too, which I I actually own one of these lights. Uh, certain seat bags have a spot for a flashing light. Have a loop. Yeah, a loop. And all you do is you take your rubber piece off and your strap. You got this little clip right there. It's a little stiff. Uh, I was gonna see if, see if I could show you it real quick. So, take that like that. The only, the only trouble that I have is getting it on there because it's so stiff. What that little helmet light? Yeah, for the uh, clip here, is uh, it's a little stiff. So you actually, every now and then, you have to. Uh, I hear you, tickly. Forty-five bucks. So get it on over to bikemanforyou.com. It's a damn nice light. Yeah, it is. You get it. I'm not gonna. Now, I'm, I'll Jim put it all in there because a six thousand lumen looks like that. times three bike light on Amazon for thirty bucks, rechargeable and bright. I'm not gonna worry. I'll Do they have a video showing you the quality and the niceness of that light? Because I guarantee you, it's not even close to the quality of ours. Now, six thousand lumens—that's a lot. Uh, I and again, I think they're. I hate to sound pessimistic about that. And I know that Amazon is a major competitor of ours, but you know what? There is some junk on Amazon, and there's a lot of junk on Amazon, to say the least. I can take this off now, because I'm sitting. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the uh, 6,000, you know, is it really 6,000 lumens? I can guarantee you that Surface's lights are what they say they are. So they've, and Surface has tested them. Because they have this special device that you stick the light in, and it's, not, it's an expensive device, and it tells you exactly how many lumens a light is. Uh, and they've went to other competitors, and they're not the lumens that they specify in their package. And I'm talking about some of these big boys. I'm not going to mention any names, but their lumens are not what they're advertised as. And I bet you that's one of them. So whatever. Hey, you get what you pay for, boys. Do what you gotta do. Oh, you see? See? Another guy already told you those high brightness lights usually have a, 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 a not long life on the battery, see? 
There you go. Derek Hefner's in the house. What's happening, Derek? How's it going? Derek Hefner. I don't like, I don't like lights because then the cops can see me at night. That's why I don't, you know, that's why I, I'm like, oh, and I turn them off and I go in stealthily. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, bring it on home. We had a couple trolls. Did we? They yeah. rolled them off. They, they threw them off? Yeah. yeah, so be it. See you later. Have a nice day. All right, that brings us to 12, 11.59. Uh, did I show them the new, the new uh, I did not, I did. I did show them that, and we talked about photo at bikemanforyou.com. Don't forget, send us your photos at photo at bikemanforyou.com and we will hook you up. All right, so I guess that's about where we're at here for today. The first actual full-time live show in the, we got the house shop done just in time. Uh, not just in time, I mean, it's been going along for a while and we're still not done, but we're, we're really, what's that, Tony? It is a process. Uh, we're constantly uh, trying to upgrade and make our shop even better and better and better. And we're doing what we do and doing it better. In this environment right now with where we're at and what's going on with the internet and the industry, the industry itself, there's a lot of competition out there and it's really going to separate the men from the boys right now. Uh, and the internet is all about the internet. And it's here to stay, guys. So you better really buckle down. Again, I've got a lot of shops that are watching us. And uh, if, you're a, if you don't own a shop and you're watching us, you know, support your local bike shop. Uh, support the bike man for you. Uh, help us out. We love you guys. And uh, again, though, your local bike shop, guys, you got to charge. Otherwise, you're going out of business. Don't be so worried about bike sales because bike sales are not going to keep you in business i'm sorry to say uh it's just not going that right uh it's going to help you stay every little bit helps but every, oh do you sell bike oh. there's shops now that are opening that do not even sell new bicycles they really just do repairs uh flat tires yeah <laughs> flat tire is a definite you know but again there's a lot to it man everybody says oh yeah it's simple to put a tube in baloney bull crap you got a lot of stuff that's going on there man if you're gonna do it right and you're gonna be a professional about it yep and sometimes you miss that little piece of glass it happens i've seen yeah. shops and not even check yeah they just take, take, take it the off. Take tube out and throw a new one in. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, there's all different qualities of work. Who's, who, who does better quality? The, uh, you know, you got to keep quality up. Uh, you got to give a little guarantee. So don't be afraid to charge, guys. Please. All right. I, you know, I brought my flannel line jeans because I know we're going to be outside taking care of them news bicycles. Um, I'm going to cut. We're going to, you know, we're, 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 we're at our time here for today. So I think we're going to sign off. We're going to start getting some pizza. But. What I want you guys to do is to come over to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Facebook, especially our Instagram. We're going to be posting pictures coming up here about every single one of our used bicycles that we have right now in stock. We're going to do on one our every hour. <laughs> uh, for the next, I don't know, however many days, I'm going to take the pictures now. I'm not going to bleed the feed. No, no, no. For yeah. the next however many days, what do we got? Probably 10 in there? Thereabouts? Uh, maybe. You got that one there. You got the other one there that we did. We got to put one, those back two, together. One, two, three. Around about you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, yeah, like 11 or 12. Okay, so for the next 12 days, so you'll even be able to see some for next week. Uh, we could comment on what the story is with the ones. Uh, uh, you'll see them. Come over to our Instagram. Check it out, Bike Man for you. What else? Frederick, you get, you'd bring anything in today? You didn't bring anything in today? It's a heater, man. Not bike related. <laughs> well, you not don't want to plug Amazon anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, BMX boy, you got anything else for us? Uh, How do you do with that piece of uh, beautiful bike? It's almost there. Um, this year in the labo in the laboratory, I want to do a project with my road bike. Okay. I want to try to. Uh, do some swapping of some parts, maybe. Oh, on that from the Bianchi. From that, the uh, Bianchi to my bike. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, what are you gonna do about that hub in the back? I don't think I'm. I don't think. Do the wheels? No, no. I mainly set. want just the uh, group set. But then I'll use the the uh, 
the uh, bike for Erica. Got you. So I'll freaking use the, the frame and fork and stem and everything gotcha, for, gotcha, for gotcha, her gotcha, bike. Gotcha, gotcha. So we got that coming up. All right. And we got some more wheel stuff that we're going to be doing. We, we got plenty of wheel stuff. Yeah, we got a lot of um, wheel stuff We have stuff to coming. finish that uh, Specialized still. We never did the uh, we never did the bar tape. Um, oh, the one with the, I never did, the uh, carbon fiber high performance I never did the uh, re-nippled. Yep. We never got the pads for it. Okay. Um, bar tape. We had some odds and ends left over that we were still kind of futzing with. So uh -huh. we, we've got that. We've got a lot more wheel stuff uh, coming up. We've got a pile of wheels that we got to talk about still. Yeah, cool. So uh, we got right. that. There you go. <laughs> Howie's wheel is doing... Phenomenal. Oh, you yeah, oh, because Howie was in this last I week. I slammed it. I don't know if you guys remember it. We had what is it like ten gauge spokes? Yeah, we on got it a special spoke for that it. we, we got a special wheel that we, and then tied, we tied and soldered and, soldered and everything. And it's got the slightest bend uh -huh. to it, but it's still like it's still like straight, but it's gunked up. And this guy is ripping the ripping. The Did you see apart. his luggage yesterday? No. Holy crap! I tried picking up his bike to spin it. How and I had to, like, I, he had to have at least, pounds. at least, maybe more. <laughs> like, I went like that yeah, to frame, oh, 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 and I was like, oh, rocks. wow. Right God around. bless. Rocks. God bless Howie. He's got rocks, clothes, and stuff <laughs> yeah. in there, man. Puppets. Holy crap, yeah. puppets. Uh. He's got everything. He's got outfits from, from the freaking puppets. <laughs> He's got everything in there. So, right. uh, Last night at Stop and Shop. You saw him at Stop and no. Shop? No. Really? 15 miles north of us. <laughs> That's right. He said that he, he was going to uh, no, Panera oh, Ham Bread. Bay. That only lives in Hampton Bay, so. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh. He came up to me and was like, hey, how you doing? Howie. Yeah. Tony Joe, great job. Thanks for filling in for Son of a today. Anytime. You did, uh, you did awesome. Anytime. You don't have to, you can see, you know, it's all good. You know, say hello to everybody out there. You know, you don't have to keep looking at yourself. You can, you know, there you go hat you got going on there. You huh? bet. No, that was a Christmas present. Yeah. Early my, Christmas yeah, present. Yeah, early Christmas present. My Formula One hat. Lewis Hamilton logo in the back. Nico <laughs> Rosberg won the world championship and he retired. Um, anyway. That's that. F1. Your F1 update. Getting ready yes. for next spring. Yes. All right. Good job. Thanks so much. Thank you, everybody. Uh, all right, guys. Hey. So there you have it. Today's show. Presented by Cali Protective, sponsored by Surface and EVT. EVT Efficient Bellow Tools. Surface products are always around. Frederick, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for Did we ever me. talk about the uh, BMX? We did not. We're going to say that. Uh, for next week. No, uh, it's, it's a beautiful right. thing, but you guys uh, have got to wait. You're going to have to wait. You're going to have to tune in. You're I can have to a come back. Why does the bike man not? I like the butt tire. I just don't like the markings. It's a, it's an aesthetic thing, and I'll talk to you about that next week. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might know why and what's going on. The holidays are coming up, guys. You got Sometimes special plans? Sometimes the holidays, what's that? Uh, plans? Yeah, uh, nah, you got any special I'm going to be pretty much staying low. Oh, yeah. yeah, stay yeah. Low. Oh, okay. Sometimes the holidays can be an extremely tough time for certain people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So please, guys, let's all be kind to one another. Let's think about it a little bit. Let's reach out to those guys. Uh, let's, you know, tell them, hey, we're here. Okay? Holidays can be extremely difficult. Maybe they lost a loved one. Maybe this one. Who knows? Okay? But again, let's all be kind to one another. Let's love one another. And above all, let's respect one another. I want you all to get ready for that holiday and have a great time and have a safe time. Most important, of course, remember, we always, if we see something, we got to say something. The war on terror never stops. And it's all of our jobs. There is absolutely no reason to be scared. We can do this. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And of course... What else can I say? But never fear, fear, the bike man for you is here. See you next week, guys. Bye, Adios. Don't lose the ticket.